What was that? <laughs> I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons, the D&D 5th edition campaign here on the High Rollers D&D Twitch and on the Yogscast Twitch as well. Thank you very much for joining us. I apologise for my very nasally sound. I'm getting over a cold. <laughs> I, that's how exactly how it sounds. Thank you. Uh, I am your Dungeon Master as always, Mark Sherlock Humes. Joining me this week, we have Chris Trot, Hello. Kim Richards. Hi. And on the other side, we have Tom Hazel. <coughs> Hello. Rihanna. Sadly, yeah. no Katie this week. She's very busy with some other projects, so she couldn't join us. Um, but we're going to be playing along anyway. A couple of things to mention before we begin our recap. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Lovely very nice. flourish. A big thank you to our sponsor, D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond! D&D Beyond! D&D Beyond! D&D Beyond. D &D Beyond. Yep. Uh, Oi. D&D Beyond is the official digital tool set of Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. It has an amazing compendium, campaign management, character builder. We all use it. It's great. We love it, right? Yes. It's so good. Yeah. Well, you are I'm using it obliged right to now. say yes, but no, we do love it. It is yeah. great. Um, it's really awesome. We've been using it for ages. One of my favorite things in it is the campaign management, the magic uh, item like creation and, and things like that. Being able to just create a magic item, put it on their character sheet is some like a small feature but really really good mm. um being able to like go in and check everybody's stats like right now i can use ayla's character sheet even though katie's not here yeah really really useful um so check it out also, uh if you go to the high rollers D, D twitch you can see the twitch extensions for D, &D beyond Woo! the overlay Kill it. Uh, alongside the Indie Beyond, <laughs> tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK, I'm going to be doing an interview with Todd Kendrick over on the DD Beyond what? Twitch channel. Yeah. Which is twitch.tv forward slash DD Beyond. DND Beyond. Todd's awesome. I met him at the stream of many eyes, and we're going to be talking DD and high rollers and all sorts of cool stuff. <laughs> Do you have something? Something Sorry, funny? No, this, this, this. <laughs> something funny, Tom Hazel? Overlay. <laughs> Overlay. It's over. <laughs> We've had a lot of laughs today. I like think uh, we might all be a little bit insane with Rhiannon's tweet before we went live and now that over. Was weird. Um, a couple of other things to mention. And our Kingdom Hearts chat. Oh, don't let's <laughs> just stop. Don't get him started. <laughs> but uh, then <laughs> <laughs> the merch store, the Yogscast merch store, has a winter sale going on right yeah. now. A uh, oh, yeah. number of High Rollers items are discounted. If you go yeah. to store.yogscast.com, um, there's a discount on calendars, tote bags, standard dice, t-shirts, <laughs> notebooks, mugs, hoodies, and more. Get your bargain. High Rollers. If you go to store.yogscast.com, you tote can select bag. Um, <laughs> uh, collaborate, uh, collections or creators, High Rollers, and it's got all of our stuff on there. Um, everything's discounted. The calendar's got like six quid off it because it's yeah. 2019 already, but it's only the start. That's it. Nobody Buy counts a calendar. January anymore. <laughs> Nobody yeah. counts. January's a dead um, money one. Also, just a quick month. note, uh, <laughs> lots of people have now been getting their correct gem dice, we believe. There was yeah. a problem with the warehouse. People should be getting their correct ones. If you don't, if you got the wrong gem dice, contact store.yogscast.com. There's an email. Contact them and they will sort out a uh, an exchange or something like that. So there you go. Yeah. Um, also, yeah. there is a video on the Yogscast uh, YouTube channel tonight at channel. 6 p.m. Right. I can say it's a Royal Rumble now. Thank you, Steve. So the Yogscast Royal Rumble yeah. is out at 6 o'clock. Um, it's got me, Tom, and Trot in it. I don't really know that much about it. Tom does. I do, because I edit it. Um, it's a 20-man Royal Rumble in WWE 2K19, uh, commentated by two lovely hosts. Um, and there's only one winner. So who's going to win? The Yogscast Royal Rumble, 6 o'clock, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> the Yogscast main channel. There you go. It's very good. lining up with that SEO <coughs> because it's WWE Royal Rumbles. <coughs> anyway. Rumbled! <laughs> um, another quick thing. Last night I got to do a D&D one-shot on roleplay um, with Adam Coble, Itme JP, Sam Strippin and Ooh. Elspeth Eastman, which was really, really fun. Uh, I had a really good blast doing that. Um, it should be available as a VOD right now on uh, ItMeJP's YouTube channel, so you can go check that out if you want to see me run D&D for some people that you don't recognize. Maybe you do, I don't know. Mm. It, was it always fun. always gets me. What? Uh, JP's URL. Mm -hmm. ItMeJP. ItMeJP. <laughs> <laughs> just gets to me. <laughs> it just gets to you. Yeah. It should be It's Me. I love him though, I love JP. He's a really lovely guy. He's genuinely one of the nicest people I've worked with. Uh, and it was always good seeing Mr. Mr. Sam Strippen again. He has a Baby. He has a baby, he has a big beard. He's looking good. He's got like a man bun and a beard now. 
And more weirded out by them babies. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I try not to think Shut about that. Shut out, baby. <laughs> um, last couple of things. Don't forget. I call him. <laughs> if you have Amazon Prime, <laughs> you get a free Twitch Prime <laughs> sub. Don't forget about that. Over on the High Rollers channel, we've got a bunch of High Rollers specific emotes if you'd yeah. like to use those. Sweet. Yeah. Use There's also the podcast and YouTube channel where you can catch up on all of our previous strings. Make sure you plug those, spread mm. them around, make sure people are aware. And with that, let's play the Aurorus intro video and then we'll do a little recap on what happened last time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. Hello, welcome back to Erois. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do that for Tom Fucking nine o'clock news. Yeah. Hello, and welcome back to Erois. <laughs> After witnessing a spell class, spell clash match, drinking in a seedy bar with the orc priest Kalu Utoma and making plans with Arvel, uh, our adventurers met once again with the field warden of Kaylee's Rest, Malika Dornblest, who informed that, that she had spoken with the Sands family and the mercenary Santa Longears. And after learning the true nature of Nightfrost, the Eterna relic that you acquired from a Court of Shadows starship, uh, she encouraged you to be cautious with it, but gave you free reign in the city and to leave it when you wished. With the doubts cast on Nightfrost, you sought information about him, as well as explore your own areas of learning by heading to the Temple of Hesper, a squat little tower in North Street, you found it to be a disorganized hoarder's nightmare of books and scrolls. <laughs> a strange old man spoke with you for a short time until you revealed Nightfrost, where he referred to it by its name, an Eterna. The Temple of Hesper seems to loom around you as Dean Simon stands staring at you intently. The dark shadows of the night and lack of ambient lighting turn the bookcases into cavernous walls and the book stacks seem like awkward shaped stalagmites rising up towards the ceiling. In the brief silence, you can hear the creak of wood and a gentle hum. The smell of old parchment and polished leather drifts through the room as the Dean rubs his chin but keeps his eyes focused on the long black cloak draped across Lucius's shoulders. The shadowy fabric swaying softly though there is no breeze and a gentle mist coils towards the floor. <clears throat> the Dean kind of just looks around at all of you. So? Care to explain? Explain what, exactly? He gestures towards the cloak. You said that you had something for me to look at. Not often. In fact, never once in my life have I ever encountered one of these things. But I know enough about it to recognize an Eterna. A strange group of folk bringing one into Kaylee's Rest is certainly to pike an interest. So you've come here for a reason, no doubt. Yes, well, information. Nova's full of it, but unfortunately, in terms of night frost, we don't know too much. Hmm. What about the rest of you, hmm? All the same thing? Uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm, I'm here to, to, well, just learn more about Hesper, um, to discover some things about him uh, related to me. The Arakokra. <laughs> hmm. Your people have an affinity with the Lord of Magic uh, and, and uh, the sky. I'm surprised that you've not learnt a little more before, but certainly that that can be found here. You've got very serious all of a sudden. Hmm. You must understand, uh, for the most part, people that come here, people that live in Cali's Rest, they're not exactly the type who are looking for genuine knowledge. 
and they are looking for cheap and easy answers uh, or secrets that can help them overcome rivals or get on with their little meaningless lives. You've all come here with a very clear purpose and you are more, well, let's just say there's more to you than I first thought. As for you, young lady, please stop fiddling around with those stacks. That's just something. I'm trying, but it's just. He goes over and places a hand on the shrine of Hesper. You hear him kind of whisper a gentle prayer and the book stacks fly into the bookshelves, all kind of finding their own place. And the dust just settles down into the room itself. There are still plenty of like tables and barrels that they'd been sitting on previously, just scattered around the room. Can you teach me that spell? It is not a spell, my dear. It is a prayer, a lord of knowledge. Well, he wouldn't like to see this place in such a mess. What? Why? I mean, it's been a long time since you've done this spell before. Are we really that important? Not important, but you've been to the town. Well, Do you really think that the people around here are interested in learning that much about the past or about m magical phenomena? Are you that interested about teaching them? Perhaps that would be beneficial. Mm. He kind of looks at you like, judging me. <laughs> Perhaps if you spent uh, long enough here in the lowlands, Mr. Sky Elf, you would uh, be a little bit more jaded. Still, let's talk about it, shall we? He gestures towards the cloak. It has a name. Which is? Nightfrost. Hmm. Nightfrost. I had read a description of it uh, <coughs> long ago, back when I was learning in Horizon. There is a catalogue of the Eterna? Not a catalogue as such. My a teacher of mine, uh, Dean Alessandra Vastra, in the High Good Church name. of Hesper in Horizon. Mm. <clears throat> An elven woman. Yes, you can tell. <laughs> yes. yes. She has become very interested in these creatures, these beings, I should say. <clears throat> very few people know about them. The Temple of Hesper has been keeping their existence somewhat secretive. We're concerned how others may react when they discover their nature, that they are used as weapons and power sources for the Court of Shadows. There are too many people now, with the gods' departure, that seek to fulfill their own merits, especially amongst the Sky City. Sky piracy and lowland tyrants, uh, warmongers, if they were to acquire such powers, well, we have some concerns. Anyway, Alessandra had um, she spent a lot of time researching the Eterna, speaking with people. She identified uh, several of them, wrote descriptions of their various forms, and interviewed others, Eterna, that walk among us freely. That's where she learned of this one. He was believed to be dead so she kept a record of it. She also spoke of the, she learnt of the, what they call the Eternal Triumvirate. They're three leaders. <coughs> leaders? Yes, three of them. Mm. <coughs> yeah. Three of them, very powerful, equal in power, and they governed the society of the Eterna uh, together. You see, the Eterna are beings of energy, and they didn't have these forms before. They existed uh, very differently to us. But the Triumvirate, the Eternal Triumvirate, were sort of a council, advisors, um, but also uh, law bearers. <coughs> there are some, well, we'll get to that in a second. The Eternal Triumvirate are made of three Eterna, one called Tiangong, <coughs> Eleia, and Tassadar. Is, what? Tiangong's one of the bosses. Shh. Seems to be very familiar. Maybe yes, I... Nova has Tiangong. Oh. Okay. Nova has Tiangong. Yes. <laughs> Everyone, why don't you just shout it? I can see that you're not quite used to keeping knowledge to yourself. He loves to learn, teach. Knowledge is to be shared, is it not? Some That's why we have books. Certainly some of it is. Some of it should be kept 
protected. Mm -hmm. Nova's just kind of like Guardian, holding her hand up. <laughs> your kind saw the sort of power that the Court of Shadows wielded. Yeah. Much of that power came from these beings. They, con they contain enormous amounts of energy uh, beyond what their forms now are capable of. But using the right rituals that the Court of Shadows knew, they could power their starships. They could power uh, giant engines of war, g great beasts of metal and stone and magic. Yeah, that's where we got Night Frost from. We found him on a... It would oh, make shit. sense. It would make sense. Yes, his power was used for uh, evil. Yeah, you say evil. his power was... <laughs> do you mean more specifically or do you mean just to power the ship itself? I'm not sure, to be honest. I think he, he was trying to do something with the weapon. Yeah. As you say this, you hear the voice of Night Frost kind of echoing out like, Yes, used for evil. Great, terrible things. The war, destruction, devastation. Those girls, the power I stole from them. And all of you hear that in his voice. Mm -hmm. And Dean Simon seems to listen intently. Mm. How long have you had this Eterna with you? Not too long. We just traveled here from the previous town where we acquired it. And that wasn't too far away, was it? A few days? A few days. And it was active when you found it? Yes. Well, it was uh, on a pedestal, almost absorbing power itself, or was being stored there. It was generating power to the That's the one. <laughs> and but it was, it's good. It was conscious. It spoke with you then. Uh, yes. Yeah. I, I felt them enter. Mm. There is something you should know. The Eterna Kalistarbane, the tyrant, the demigod, he bound them to his will. Through that binding, this pact he made, he stole away some of their ability to change their form. He forced them to take on the forms as you see them now, these weapons, armor, uh, devices used to generate power. Through doing so, they have a sort of immortality. They can be destroyed, but they do not age, they do not change. They can slowly be drained of their power, however. Everything that Alessandra learned is that once their power is gone, the only way it can be restored is through a willing return of energy from a living host. They are symbiotes of a sort. But there is something else she spoke of. It is possible for the Eterna to be force-fed power, life, energy. Very much how undead are created by necromancy. When that happens, Eterna can become corrupted. They can become dark, twisted things. They are driven mad and crave power and energy. They cannot be restored. There is no cure for this. They are not like you and I. We cannot use divine magic to purge away their ills or their minds. You carry something very dangerous, or at least the potential for danger with you. Mm. Yes, that's very clear now. You say you carry Tian Gong. Do you speak with him? I'm surprised he would not have warned you against this. I... I don't even know if it's a him. I hear voices in my sleep, in my dreams. It's spoken to me before when I found it, when, when it willed me to rescue it. And, well, Night Frost said that Tian Gong was shattered and what I hold is a sliver. Mm. I imagine that if I was to find more parts and reunite, then Tian Gong would be stronger. It is likely the only way that um, such an immense being of power. The Eternal Triumvirate, they were the leaders. <clears throat> You've all heard the stories of the arch fiends, of celestials, great beings, not quite gods, but incredibly powerful. The Eternal Triumvirate were of a similar level. If they were broken into shards, it was a way for Callus to distribute their power amongst his forces rather than keeping it to himself. I do not know where the other two are, and my mentor kept more, far more research notes than I have. This is simply what I can remember of my time spent studying with her. The Eterna can take various forms, humanoid, weapon and armor. 
that only those who are considered free, that have bonded with a willing symbiotic human, can take on a humanoid form. Some of them are, they bond with a human and then they leave. Some are forced to stay by their side. From what I understand, that's where most of my mentor's notes came from, speaking with one. Um, one called Celeste, if I remember. Celeste? She was supposed to be a woman of, uh, almost of luminosity, uh, appeared as if glowing, a feminine form. Could take the form of a spear. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway. And she... I don't know... Sorry. Roam, she just roams freely around Eroes? That is what my mentor told me, yes. So... She... This Celeste seeks to free her people from the pact with Starbane. Ah, uh, okay. But sadly, I mean, that is impossible. I got a 10 on history. Yes. What do you want to know? So, there was a spear in the law of the Sundering. Yes. I'm just loose, just trying to piece. So, from what you remember, yes, in the Sundering, the history of the Sundering is the god Atelicus, uh, the eldest son of Siaska, um, seeing his mother die at the hands of Calistarbane, enraged, plunged his spear uh, mm. into the ground of Erois. Erois was once one big landmass. That plunging of the spear split the world up into the continents you now know and caused untold devastation. To this day, Atelicus is kind of regarded as a god to be worshipped but feared because of this rage. He represents primal rage and anger. Yeah. Um, you don't think that the, his spear would have been an Eterna. He existed before Starbane arrived to erupt. Okay. Um, okay. That's almost, his spear is like a part of his godly power. Yeah. What were the three names of the council? Uh, so you have one. The other one Celeste. is Aleia, which is a-L-Y-E-J-A, -E kind of like Freya from Norse mythology, but Alea, and Tassadar, T-A-S-S-A-D-A-R, Tassadar. And Celeste is one of the... Eternal. And Celeste is just an Eterna, yeah. Just. Oh. <clears throat> so, now my question to you all, what do you intend to do with this being that you have? I'm personally terrified of the potential if it's a corrupted Eterna, like you say, and it has the power that could, you know... I do not know could... the exact process. Perhaps this corruption is not complete. Perhaps it is merely only a sliver away from transformation. Transformation it already what? has a, a darker form. From what I understand, there would be some sort of physical change. And from your research with your... Advisor, what was it? Mentor. Mentor. Hmm. Was there any knowledge as to, you know, these sacrifices, these willing sacrifices? Is the, that something Nifrost could take himself? How to explain this? So, normally, my understanding with the Eterna is they, if they are drained of their power, they can enter a sort of symbiotic relationship. Um, a, a process of bonding where a humanoid, a, a mortal like us, can give them some of their life force. And in exchange, it awakens the Eterna's powers. But there is discussion, research from captured remnant, that there is a way to force an Eterna to feed off a life. Normally fatal. How much is required, I do not know. That has happened. We witnessed it. Then I would suggest that that Eterna that you have is very likely on the brink of such a corruption. But there's no evidence that you can't stop it, that kindness and understanding can't help them. Kindness and understanding don't stop death. But he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't drain the last girl. But he can be forced to do so. Regardless you hear, of... You hear Night Frost, yeah. Deimos stopped me. Deimos was the one that prevented me from draining her. I had no control. Can I get in the way of further draining? Perhaps, Master Lucius. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they can do to us. 
it's not something we know. It has never been done before. How many did you drain? Four. Four of them I killed. I can still see their faces. Their young, innocent faces. I had not seen many of your kind before. I was distant as a ship. My weapons fired down, but I did not see faces. Theirs were the first ones I saw, and then they were gone. Just the voice goes quiet. It seems to me that he has suffered quite a substantial amount from such an activity. The remnant truly do not have any mercy on them. I do not know if you are correct, young Ganassi. Perhaps you are right. Perhaps they can be saved. There is salvation. I My just... experience only is of a similarity between them and the undead. And there is no saving the undead. I just wonder because I guess maybe I have a symbiotic relationship with Tian Gong. Tian Gong asked me if he could, if they could come with me, if they could share some of my power. Mm. Tian Gong works through me. I learnt these spells. Keep in mind, through him. Tian Gong is of an incredible power, far beyond the rest of his kind. It would be as if it is the difference between you and I and one of the greatest champions, one of the greatest heroes of, of all of our time, of all of our time. It is a power level. It may be that he does not require the same energy that these others do. I do not know. My, my mentor perhaps will have better answers, but, but this is all I can offer. Perhaps if I reform Tian Gong, Tian Gong can help Night Frost and others. At this point, that is a hypothesis, but it is one I cannot disagree with. I have no evidence to or against the contrary. Nightfrost, what do you think? I do not know, Nova. I, I regret everything that I've done, and there are times when I hate what I am. There are times when I wish only to vanish. But then there are times when I am so desperate to see the light that I missed for so long. There are times when I want to be free of this pain in any way I can. I don't know. This is not what we are, not what we are used to. I was a being of energy once, beyond any of this. I miss my people. I wish Tian Gong were here to tell us what to do, as he once did, as they once did. I want you to know, Night Frost, I'm looking for Tian Gong, since you told me that what I hold is just a sliver. I want to reform them. I want to find the rest of Tian Gong. And if that helps you, then that strengthens my resolve. Thank you. You just kind of hear that amongst all of you. It's well, a, it's a wonderfully noble cause, Nova. Nova, 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 Nova. <laughs> <laughs> it almost works. But we have to consider that going on this quest to reform Tiangong, it's were the only people in the way of the remnant or court of shadows obtaining the power of these Eternas. And the more we piece them back together and grant them their power back, the more power we could potentially give to the Court of Shadows. Well, we recovered Night Frost from the Court of Shadows. Yeah, we beat those guys up real bad, Ayla. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. And that's one less for them. Yeah. It's <sighs> freeing a people. There was a war, like a, a war of all of Erois that destroyed Erois. What can um, we do against that? But the Eterna were enslaved in that war. And they we're working a... to free them. Yes, um, my only worry is it's only us that's really in the way of an army. It's true, but we've seen what the Court of Shadows are now. If we let them run free, collecting all the Eterna and gathering power, they're going to reform and they'll become the army that destroyed Arose before. I'm not saying we dismiss the quest. All I'm saying is maybe we need more help. Oh, obviously. That's, that's yeah. a given. I'm afraid um, that my help is somewhat limited. I am neither mage or a powerful priest. I'm a librarian, if nothing better. The... But my mentor should have some answers for you. Yeah. Where can she be found? Horizon, the Sky City. That's a fantastic place to go. You know what? I hear the weather's good. I'm surprised that you're so keen to head to Horizon. Why? Well, perhaps you're not so familiar with your 
neighbouring cities as I thought. It's a sky city. It is. It is a sky city where a rebellion overthrew the high elf royalty that run it. It was... Uh, I wondered why I Daddy never took us there. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. There are plenty of high elves who exist there, but it is... <sighs> Strange that one who is quite obviously a, a, a noble son of the <laughs> Thank you, you noticed. Rich, Thank you. It's not hard. Um, Horizon is, is it's a place where the common people rose up and claimed it for their own. It is a good place. I spent many wonderful years there. Great. But it is different. What was the founding family that helped? There was his assistance, wasn't there? Or was it on Gust Haven itself? And I'm getting them mixed up. I'm afraid I could not tell you the ruling, the ruling family that was overthrown did some terrible things and their name have been stricken from most records. The citizens would have a better history of Horizon. Mm. There were refugees in uh, Gusthaven too. Mm. I remember that. Good. Well, history that. lessons are so boring though. Ayla puts the hammer on the ground and is like, are we done? I'm so bored. Please, is there anything else we need to ask this old man? We could ask about your tartan. That's a really good idea. Hey, old man, what do you know about this? Waves a piece of tartan in his face. It is a piece of cloth. Right, <laughs> good. Uh, what, what, what? He's just like, uh, clan, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Ayla goes through the, the speech, because yeah. I don't want to put words in Kate's mouth. He's like, hmm, high elf and things. I'm afraid <laughs> of... I do not have any records of censuses taken at the time, but there were a number of elven families who came down from the sky cities to live in an Eros, and they became the wild elves of today. I'm afraid that here, I could ask Hesper, but that is a lengthy process, and not one that I believe I have any books on in particular. Okay. What about you, Guardian? You, uh, okay. <coughs> you mentioned you wanted to learn. Uh, oh, um, is there anything you wish to know, Guardian? Well, I've been uh, seeking a Temple of Hesper for some time, actually. Um, Why? Well, I uh, a while back, yeah. I was flying along. Everything was fine. Two wings. You might have noticed. Only one now. Um, and then I was struck by lightning. Surely to kill me, uh, plummeted into the ground. And then I, I, I saw um, some things and also I got a message from who I believe then to be Hesper and that connection has been strengthening over time uh, and I am seeing him more and more. Let's stop for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to interrupt. I was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to interrupt you when you're clearly explaining something. There's some more information that's required. First of all, you say you saw things. Um, Elaborate. Okay, so I saw a blinding light. Mm. Uh, lightning. Lightning, I imagine. Yes. Um, and then I saw um, places that I've n never been to before. Um, cities and people running and screaming. And there's, 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 there's fire. There's chaos, there's buildings collapsing. Um, I don't know, I don't know if that is my imagination running wild, a metaphor for the moment of falling to my almost certain doom. But shortly after, Hesper reached out and then I woke up in, you, in the lowlands. When you say Hesper, you saw him? He spoke to you? He, he, yes, well, he, a very short message, but since that time, I've been having dreams. He is appearing, he's giving me a path. He's asking me to fly with the Aracocra or to cocoon myself on the ground. Strange messages that I don't have an answer for. Um, mm -hmm. And my powers have been growing. Um, you feel a deeper connection to him spiritually. Uh, you have access to magics? Yes, magics that I never would have had before. I never had prior to the storm. Mm. Um, it is not uncommon. The gods following the sundering, they pulled away from Erois in mourning for their mother. It was a dark time. But they hadn't given up on us completely. They just need some time to 
adjust. They're not like us. Siaska was everything. They were part of her, and when she died, part of them died with her. But they still speak to us. They still speak to a few of us that listen, that represent them, that have something to learn from them that we can pass on to the others. Hesper is a good man, a good being, I should say. He sees such potential in many of us, but he was always a strange one amongst his family. He liked his books and his learning, and he liked the skies. If he speaks to you, he believes that you have great potential. Is there any clue as to what that is? <laughs> I believe that it is likely tied to this vision Visions are not uncommon among servants of the gods. Right. They are used as ways to warn us of things to come, but they are not always exactly what they appear. Like you said, it may not be an actual city in need. It could be a kingdom, a society, a small town. Right. But that answer will come in time. Okay. Likely now, you're being guided. I can give you some teachings. I can give you some information about Hesper himself. Okay. But the best thing you can do with a god of knowledge is keep moving. He's put you on a path. Mm -hmm. You may not know it, but that doesn't matter. You need to just keep moving. The next step is the most important one. Wherever the road takes us. Wherever the road takes you. In terms of your training, yes, I think it seems, seems applicable. He goes over to one of the bookshelves and he pulls out a scroll, goes through several, and he's like, yes. Stamps on it. This will uh, consider it a gift for a new acolyte. Acolyte, okay. <laughs> it is a spell scroll. Right. Uh, you may not be powerful enough for it now, but perhaps in time you will be, and it will allow you to ask him a question. Oh. It is called a divination. Ask him a... Okay. You can attempt to use it sooner, but that will depend on the wisdom that you've earned. Right. And, and um, I suppose one-time use? I'm afraid so. Okay. <laughs> so it better be a good question. All questions should always be good questions. That's true. And um, you, Guardian. I, will, I, will, I have something more for you, my young friend. And we can speak more if you intend to spend more time here in Kelly's Rest. Okay, yes, uh, yeah. I'd be happy to teach you what I know. Thank you. New Guardian. Yeah. Is there anything I can help you with, as we seem to be doing the rounds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While we're here. While we're here, yeah, that's very true. Uh, you seem very knowledgeable in different races. Um, I've studied. Yeah, it's amazing. My, myself and one of the other Guardians have shared a similar vision uh, about almost a godlike being called the Prime. And, yeah. Are you asking if I know of such a being? Well, given your knowledge of different races, I've wondered if maybe it would if it'd come across in a study. I'm afraid I can't say I have. Your people are few and far between and secretive in many ways. I do not know much about them. I've never heard of this prime, although... Well, some things begin to dwell in my old memory. It is not a god of Erois, I can tell you that much. Okay. Not one of Siaska's children. None of us claim dominion over your kind. But there are other beings. Okay. Things like the Eternus Triumvirate, the Archfiends, the Celestials that the ASMR once came from. They're not gods, but they are powerful beings. And there are other worlds out there. Worlds from which creatures n not found on Erois come from. There's one in this town, a centaur, I believe. She came from a world uh, full of flowers and strange creatures. Yeah. I have heard of one, a place called Mechanicus, a planet far, far beyond this place. But there are beings, constructs, golems, uh, beings similar to the Guardians. I believe that that may even have been where the original ideas for your kind came from. Wow. And there is something about a primus 
not prime, but primus. Primus. I'm not sure if that is the same thing, but it is all I can think of, I'm afraid. Well, that's that's so helpful. That's, well, that's... You've spoken to Tracker and the other guardians here? Yes, yeah, we have. We've met them. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid that they'll have more knowledge than I, on your kind. Um, other larger cities, I know that the Gold Throne and the Sky Cities have a vetted interest in your type, and uh, many of them come there seeking purpose. I hope that that helps. Well, thank you so much, that does help. As he finishes talking to Sentry, you're kind of stood at the back of this temple near his shrine, the bookshelves all around you. You hear the door open. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sound of armoured oh, feet. There we go. Oh, okay. You turn around and you see, filling in through the door, there's about five of them. Maybe two of them are still outside, just by the door itself. They wear breastplate or chainmail. Um, some of them carry shields. Weapons not fully drawn. Uh, leading them is a man in a long white and red robe. You can see that a burning, gauntleted fist. Okay. Um, <clears throat> whereas before you've seen the symbol of Palador as an open palm, this one is a gauntleted fist oh, facing wow. the other way. And <laughs> they kind of enter, and Dean Simon is talking to Sentry at the time, and one of them calls out, and you can see this one in the robes seems to be doing the main speaking. There's still armor on it, like he has like a breastplate over the, the robes themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and then one behind him seems to be wearing sort of more form-fitted clothing, and you can see he has a long kind of uh, whip kind of attached to his side. Dean Simon. And Dean's like, what now, another of his... Oh, it's you. What do you want? I gotta remember that they're at Savonans. The abbotess would very much like to speak with you, Dean Simon. She's gathering all of the uh, leaders from the f local temples heading towards the abbey. She wishes to speak with you privately. Abbotess? There is no such thing. What about Abbot, Abbot Varson? What's happened to him? I'm afraid that Abbot Varson has fallen ill and the leadership of the abbey has fallen to the abbotess. Demon Simon looks at you, he's like, you should all go now. Are you sure? And then he just kind of looks at you with a very troubled look on his face. Mm -hmm. Turns back. I'm to understand that you're to take me there now, peacefully, I would hope. As long as you come quietly, yes. As for the rest of you, get out. Get out of Kelly's Rest. This ain't no place for freaks like you. This is a place for good people. And then as he sees Ayla, especially your fucking kind, spits on the, spits on the ground. Wow. <laughs> and you see Ayla is like gripping the hammer, not taking action. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we are... <clears throat> we'll be off then. Mm. Right? Got everything... Um... We'll see you later. When you, when you say that, you guys can all make insight checks for me. Nope. 14. 16. Oh, it's like nothing. <laughs> uh, eight. 10. 10. So I think, Lucius, you're the only one that picks up on this. When you say like, oh, I guess we should be leaving then, there's a slight hint of disappointment on Dean Simon's face. Like, he's like, okay, yeah. I gotta go with these guys then. Like, you know, there's al almost like there was a tiny hope that you'd help, but he's just like, all right, let's not keep this abbotess waiting. And then he kind of turns around and you hear this kind of very low, I wouldn't remain in Callie's rest too much longer. I'm sorry, my boy. I'll have to reschedule our time to spend uh, talking about Hesper. Um. And he gets up to go with these five individuals who are just watching the, th the five of you for any signs of trouble. When is he expected to return, Dean Simon? You, you ask the guy? Yeah. He looks at you like, how fucking dare you <laughs> talk to me? <laughs> when the abbotess is done with him, it's none of your fucking business, bird. I had a schedule to keep. Too fucking bad. Hmm. <laughs> Good people in Caddy's Rest. Yeah, they are. 
when they were surrounded by their own fucking kind, not some freaked up strangers coming in, ruining the whole place. You make me fucking sick. I'm sick of your kind around here. I'm and then the, like, the one with the whip kind of puts a hand on his shoulder. He's like, easy now, brother. There's no need to get heated. The Dean's coming with us. And these folks will be on their way soon, I'm sure. You can see that as they get up, the one who's been doing the speaking, this one in the robes, just kind of grabs Dean Simon's wrists, kind of pretty angrily, like grabs him. And he's like, <clears throat> and he's like come along, Dean. And shoves him sort of out the door. He said he was going willingly. He just turns around. <laughs> that just looks. There's no need, okay. <laughs> and begins, <laughs> begins taking the Dean away. Jeez. Of all the different I mean, people we've met, are we he okay was the with rudest. This? Are we okay with this? I mean, no. Is that if they left? They are like at the door. I'm gonna say that like the door is open and they're like stepping outside. <laughs> so if you're doing something, well, they'll be on the street. Like you, but if you want to do something while they're still in the building, now is the time to do it, because otherwise they're going to be out in the public streets. I don't like how you're handling that, man. They stop. Yes. My mom said that you shouldn't swear. Bad language is very uncouth. They stop, and you see that there. The two are still outside kind of grin under these kind of like bucket helms and there's like <laughs> the one with the robes turns around you don't like it Mr. Fancy Elf that's a real fucking shame why don't I come over and apologize finally some sense and he begins making his way in and um, the inquisitor just kind of rolls his eyes Lucius. And like he sh <laughs> you can see that they shove mm -hmm. Dean Simon into like the corner behind the door and one of, the, uh, one of the three men with the shields kind of stands next to him. And they shut the door. Can I all step silently in. blade ward myself? Make a sleight of hand check. Okay. Can I uh, look to Dean I, to, like... <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for advice from him at this point. He's just got a hard set face. Um, 11. Give me a perception check. Okay, with disadvantage. Can I like ready my shield and stand between Lucius and? Yeah, so you like actually um, step, step up, up, like you yeah, step up like, to this guy in his oh, face. Dang. Seventeen. He mouths the word. He mouths. It's gonna get bad. Um, and as he steps up, and as Sentry kind of steps to him in his face, this guy just grins. He's like, you know, it's a shame. These libraries, really prone to burning down. And you watch as his form begins to flicker into flames. Would you guys like to see where you are? Uh, yes, please. Yep. Oh, good, he had a battle map prepared. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, I mean, we couldn't just let him go, could we? Oh, that's so rude. No. <laughs> so, so nasty. They're manhandling an old man. Why yeah. are none of us human? <laughs> because humans are boring and racist. I know. <laughs> One, two. Oh, I really like the closed yeah. fist compared to the open Yeah, it's cool. Oh, so Dean Simon's calls. been shoved in there. There's these guys, and then you guys are all basically near the shrine, which is back here. Okay, okay and then we've got Ayla as well. I'm gonna have to use Ayla's old mini, because I don't know where Katie's good one is. Uh, yeah, here's mine. And once you've placed your miniatures on the map, uh, I like that. Sentry stepped up in front of Lucius. Yes, she? she did. Yes. Yeah. She's kind of, you're basically like, there's this kind of like sack where a bunch of books were kind of like just propped on it, but they've all been thrown back into the shelves. And it's kind of just between you and him. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's a little sack. Little sack. And with that, let's roll some initiative. Oh, wow. Okay. Straight roll. in. Holy We've got lots of lore, and now it's time for a uh, fight. fight. <laughs> I'm going last. Before we do this, what was the surname for Alessandra? Uh, oh God, Kim, why do you do this to me now? Um, <laughs> Alessandra Vastra. 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 Yes. Yeah, I didn't have that either. <laughs> so, whoop, whoop. I had a long yes. name and panicked. I had Vostro. Oh, <laughs> fire on fire, it would seem. Over. Lucius. Flameland. Is someone ready to say, yeah, cool off? 
<laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, please never quote Batman forever at me ever. It's got rubber nipples in it. What <laughs> it does. Okay. Yes. Okay. Game face. Okay, I've got a lot of shit here. Bad situation, so. Rihanna. Bad, yeah. bad. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Yes. So, Sentry. Hello. Uh, initiative, 12. please. 12. Quill. 4. Nova. 19. <coughs> Lucius. 8. And then the Inquisitor. Is... I need to open my spell list. I haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> what is How combat? How to spell? <laughs> How do you combat? How do you fight, men? 19. And Custodus is. Oh my goodness, he is. He's up for a fight. Uh oh. No. I used Okay. Uh oh. Crikey. He's up for a fight. <laughs> Shit. God, yeah, he really is. I think they all are. So, <clears throat> he steps up, and as he says those last words, like, it's a shame how easy everything burns in here. Uh, and then he, he seems to be wielding, I believe he has a, um, yeah, he's got like a long kind of like uh, crozier staff. Nice. Um, and he slams it on the ground and then points it forward and projecting in a 15 foot cone from him, which I think is going to be 5, 10, 15, is going to catch Lucius, Ayla, and Sentry, as well as several tables, barrels, and everything else. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, a cone of flame erupts forward. And can you guys make dexterity saving throws for me, please? Will do. Uh, is that me as well? Uh, no, I think you're just out. I'm going to catch Lucius, because oh Trot has annoyingly put himself on, like, half things. So I'm going to make him go there. Yeah, I think I am. Try and put yourselves actually oh, on the grid. over the wall. Wall here. Lean in. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, limit myself to a grid-based system. <laughs> yeah, is that what you do? Okay. Uh, so what do you get on those deck saving throws? Five. Five? Sixteen. And then I've got to make one for Ayla, haven't I? And that is going to be a whopping nine for Ayla. Wowie. Wowie, wow, wow. You got sixteen, did you say? You partially can take half damage. Wicked. So it's going to be twelve, thirteen. So thirteen points of fire damage to Ayla and Sentry. Sweet. Bring it all. Um, and then seven points of damage uh, to you, Lucius, um, as this kind of <laughs> column of fire erupts. As it hits, things like the tables, the barrels, um, they ignite, and the whole place launches. Oh, fire. we've got to get through go. them to the exit. Oh, there's an upstairs. There is an upstairs, yes. Um, okay. Uh, and as he slams down that, he just calls out, he's just like, they're resisting, boys, for the Abatis. Um As they Abitess, launch forward. My Nova. Ass. <laughs> my <Abitess. laughs> Nova's like, oh, I regret this decision. I regret this standing up for what's right. Ooh, why is doing the right thing so hard? I wish I was a water ganassi and I could just... <laughs> yeah. Well, you're an air ganassi. Well, does that mean I can suffocate them? You don't have to worry. Well, no, it means that you don't have to worry about, you know, suffocating oh. yourself. <laughs> What's that? Is that the light? Because it's so dark. Okay. Yeah, the camera's very we dark. We need to get like a little portable light mm. or something. Yeah. Can I? I'm probably going to regret this. Cast Crown of Madness on him. Sure. Damn. Yeah. Go for it. Can you please make me a wisdom saving throw? On the guy the guy with the crozier staff, the main guy in the, the front. The main yeah. guy, the main asshole. The other okay. I don't even know. Uh, wisdom saving throw? Yes. DC? 14. I mean, zealot priest. 21. Why is this shit? Yeah. I rolled a 15, to be fair. So uh, so you kind of reach out. He just acts like a, a dumb you, person. You channel... Uh, the accent doesn't make him dumb, guys. No, the, you, the, the, the racism. Oh, the ra oh, yeah, racism. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, you channel uh, the power through Tian Gong. You feel this kind of twisting, dark nether magic. Almost from... You sense void itself. And you try and curl it around his forehead. But he just senses something and... Uh, and this kind of crown of flame kind of burns the magic away. It's kind of cool. It's just like, the god of fire, the ash will cleanse your pathetic little heretic magic. Mm. Can I? Two of the swords. Hey, Go on, carry on. Stuff yeah. to do. Yeah, I'm just going to move up. Uh, I'd like to hexblade curse him and then move. Okay. You're right, you move first then. Um, Before I'm just, I move. I want to tuck behind, like, yeah. here. Yeah. So you just move like five, ten. Yeah. Um, moving across the table would be difficult terrain. So, uh, so I was there. Yep. Was I? So five, five, ten, uh, over the table. 15. Oh, yeah, you could go there. 
20, 25, and just like tuck behind cover here. Okay. Uh, so he, he gestures, he's like, deal with that one, she's some sort of spellcaster. Leave me alone, I'm yeah. pushing Just you. her. No. <laughs> Who's oh. the only spellcaster? Oh, wow, they've all they, gone that they've way. They've come around a pillar, no! <laughs> so two of his guys uh, start moving round. The other one seems to just be guarding the um, priest. Oh, he's checked it. Yeah, good. Steve's got it. It's a lot better. Nice. Steve's got it. A lot better. So two of them basically start making their way to Nova. The third one kind of backs up and is like keeping an eye on the, um, the Dean, uh, who's now like, oh, my books! He's <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> looking at the flames. It's like, you fucking idiots! Oh, to the guys, not to you guys. He was so serious a second ago. <laughs> um, Just take a robot. Ayla on her turn. Smash. So Ayla's still a little bit injured from her fight with Cal. Oh, I, I did give her a short rest. Whack. Uh, but she is going to rage. Whack. And go. Whack. Uh, whack. She'll move over to here so she's not in the fire. A whacking? And then she's going to. A whacking. Whack. It's going to be a whacking. It's going to be a whack. In true Katie fashion, I will not reckless attack because she's low on hit points. That is for a 16, which I believe is it's a so hit. Wreckful. Uh, is that the opposite of reckless? And then it's a D10. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, not the best damage know. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be 1D8 plus 6. So that's 8 points of damage. And then a reflex save for him. For so 13, which is enough that it halves. Whoops. For one point of damage. Yay. Yay. Even when Katie's not here, it's still the same. One zap. But Ayla's now up in his face, kind of like, Rah, get out of the fucking way, swinging a hammer around, um, trying to get in his face. We then go to the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, he doesn't look fun. He will see that Sentry step up to try and get in the way. Oh, yeah. And he will, uh, he pulls out this whip, this barbed whip. Cool. Kind of cracks it a few times. And then he whoosh, tries to launch a whip oh, out towards. Oh, I've had some one of those before. <laughs> My chain Ooh, whip. That is a 23 yeah. to hit you. Uh, that is a hit, yep. Okay, so the whip just coils around your body and you feel these barbs sticking. And then with an unnatural spiritual strength, he yanks you. Mm. Pulling you. Oh, so it's kind of like the. Um, like in, like uh, ensnaring uh, strike. Lightning blow. Yes, lightning blow. He basically yeah. pulls you. <laughs> it knocks over this table. All oh, the fire kind of like goes everywhere. Just spilled over. Righty -o. He kind of pulls you in towards him. You're currently grappled. Yep. Um, and then he basically, with his other free hand, which you can now see glows with this internal heat. Like, the fire is built up inside of him and he goes to reach out and try and grab you oh. um, as you are grappled. What a piece of shit. But that's only a 9. That's only a 13. Yeah, it doesn't hit. So you manage to get the shield up and you and you, as it hits the shield, you hear this kind of like, tss, you know, hot flame hitting metal sound. Nice. Um, as his whole hand, his whole body almost, is emanating this powerful heat, like this internal heat source. Okay. Um, as it erupts from him. So after then, Sentry. Okie dokie, so I'm still, am I still grappled? You are grappled, you can make, um, so you can make an athletics or an acrobatics check to break the grapple. Uh, which is your move oh, action. Strength. Athletics is strength. Oh yeah. Can I do athletics then yep. please? Yep, so make an athletics check. I'll tell you the DC is 11. Nice, I got... Higher. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 19. Ugh, you pull yourself free. Good job. Um, at, before, at the very start of your turn though, you did take some fire damage okay. uh, from, uh, some uh, piercing damage, sorry, from the... Uh, from the uh, quip, quip uh, cool. which is cool. five cool. points of damage. Cool. 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 No worries. <laughs> the um, cool quip. Nice. Hot Alrighty. Cool. But then you break free of it and he's right in your face. Nice. I would like to raffle smite. Okay. Ooh. So bonus action, you cast raffle smite on your axe. Yes, please. And then who are you going to attack? Oh, I don't know. I don't know who's going to annoy me more. <laughs> uh, this guy. The whippy boy. He's going to annoy me so much. Yep. Yeah. The inquisitor. Yes, please. Sure. So give me an attack roll. Attack roll, whoop whoop. Mm. 15 plus my thingamajiggy. Attack, attack bonus. Attack bonus. Which one is it? I can't remember. Action. Oh yeah, there it is. Plus six, that's, yeah, 21. 21. Easily hits him. This guy doesn't nice. seem to be wearing any armor. He's just got like clothing, but he's got this whip. Um, nice. You hit him, as you do, uh, as the ax connects, this kind of roaring heat from his body 
is enough that it starts singeing your actual joints and arms. You take another four fire damage Crikey. for hitting him with a melee attack. Oh, the fire guy. Wow. Yeah. The this guy. Inquisitor. Oh, he's Inquisitor. got fire as well. He's the one that, when he touched uh, Sentry's shield, he's the one that had this internal heat oh, source in his body. Everyone on Crikey. fire. Yeah, it's hot. But headed. you still hit him, so yep. now you can roll your damage and you add the benefits from Raffle Smite. Oh, they're going to cook cool. me. So, ba -da -ba 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 oh, going to be so delicious. 1d6. Alright, Turkey. Yep. KFC. Abatess. Abatess fried chicken. Oh. oh. Whilst we haven't been reading up on like, uh, I know, I haven't done this for so long. No, that's fine. So Kaylee's it's DC, 1d6. It does an extra d6 plus mm -hmm. physical damage. So I need to do. Yep. Is it my standard? Yeah, so it's your standard roll? damage. So where's Wrathful Smite? Let's just, just read up the stats on that. So additionally, yeah, if the target is a <laughs> creature. Okay, so it has to make a. Until the spell ends. Um, I'm just going to read this a little bit. Make a wisdom save. So, as well. yep, yeah, it deals an extra 1d6 psychic damage. In addition, the, the target is a creature. It must make a wisdom saving throw. It becomes frightened of you. Cool. So I'll do that. So d6. So I got five. So he's actually going to fail the Wisdom saving throw. Okay. And then, so and then your... plus four spell attack. Uh, well, no, because no? it's, it's d6 added to your normal weapon damage. Okay, so, so been a while since so it's equipment. Actions. Okay. And then... D8 plus four. So, yep, and then another five. five. Which one is that one again? The it's diamond. Isn't it? There we go. Wah, wah. So that's seven. Plus five. Plus five. It's eight. Eight. No. God, yeah, what 12. is my math? Twelve. Twelve. Yes. Yeah. 12 DiMaggio's and he'll fail his wisdom save. So cool. you watch as he, there's the axe kind of bites in. Um, it does pierce into his body and this flame kind of erupts and licks your own arm. But he's, he kind of is like, ah, fuck. And he like looks down and he's just like, we, we got to get out of here. Come on, let me there. And he's like trying to pull away and try and back away from you as best as he can. Cool. Nice. Takes, takes effect. Um, and yeah, he's uh, definitely terrified. terrified. Nice. And that Lucius. So we. Oh my, Fiasco. Excuse me, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna go back here. I forgot to attack Dave. <laughs> That's a shame. Um, oh, a shame. No. <laughs> I was like, I moved my guys up there, and I was like, oh, they still had their actions left. They're out of my range. I'm going to cast. They just thought I looked cute and adorable, and sure. we're like, oh. Lucian. <laughs> going to cast Snillox Snowball Swarm. Snillox Snowball Swarm. Yeah, you're going here. Call up in this. Okay, I'm gonna cast it here. So it's a five. Uh, anything within a five foot radius, so that will unfortunately affect the sentry, sorry. Okay. But I'm gonna get these two. You're gonna get those two, yep. I can use two sorcery points to twin the spell! Woo! <laughs> what is this? What do you mean? What have you done? I'm twinning the spell. So you duplicate the effect. Here. Okay. Like these fucking two. Okay. So, so with twin spelled. Double Snearlock Snowball Storm. What is what to read the spell? <laughs> Get a features and traits. You mean, oh I, I always like, find it funny when it's got a named. So it's not just a snowball smell. Features there's like traits. smell, yeah. stealth. Someone, someone so. called snowball. There's like a name <laughs> to it as well. Yeah. Um, Second creature on the same I think most of the high yeah. level stuff. So names. with yeah. the snowball swarm. Like, isn't there a tent a one as well that's area. named after a person? Area. Because I think you can't twin it if it targets an area. Uh -oh. You can't twin a fireball, for example. No. Yeah, it's a point within you, so you can't twin that. You could twin Chromatic Orb because it targets one creature. So the way to think of twinning is as long as it targets just one creature, you can twin it and hit another creature. If it targets an area, you can't twin it. Well, what about in a Rois? I'm going to still play by the same rules. <laughs> because otherwise you can go, twin fireball! <laughs> <laughs> and it becomes ridiculous. We Should don't need to. twin fireballs, right? Um, In which you could, case... You could twin Chromatic Orb, though. I'm going to single Snillock here yes. on these two. Okay. So All your jets. Oh, no, Dexterity single. saving throws? Is that what I'm making? Uh, correct. <laughs> so, Inquisitor, that is 11. <laughs> Custodes, even lower. 13. Three. Both save? fail. Both fail. Uh, uh, sentry, can you do a Dexterity saving throw, please? Like Sorry. Uh, it's a 3d6. That D6. is 13 for me. Need two more. There's a 13? Yep. I think that passes, right? That does pass. Yay. So you're going to take half damage. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, That's Six, a 15. Six and a three. 15. 15 damage. Yeah. And guess what? Ow. If I can't get the twin, I will get the dichromancy. Oh. Yes, you will. Yes. With it's my, half, it's half, so you choose worry. one creature. The Inquisitor. Right. You're going to go with the Inquisitor, yeah? And that How is much damage a is that? Level two spell plus three charisma, so that's five. Look at you. <laughs> He's learned his Yay! So, what does it look like? Describe what Snillock Snowball Swarm 
the so, loose form looks like? Uh, I build it up in my hand first, so it's a little vortex of cold fog. We're with little, like unique snowflakes mm -hmm. in there, nice. and they're all like offended by everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's so pleased. Very good. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> and it closes. Yep. And it reappears in a five-foot swarm <laughs> that then explodes. Like a outwards. whirlwind of snow, bl a blizzard. Yes. And then you pull off something blue, like from your um, outfit, I guess. I'll pull uh, from the blue of the spell itself okay. a shard, which then just like. Okay. I mean, Normally I'm entirely blue. Yeah, you can't no, do it from, from the spell. No, I'm entirely spell. blue. Okay. I pull it from Nova's hair. Yeah, yeah. There. Okay, there we go. There's so Nova. you kind of look over, you glance with your, your blue eye, you glance this uh, Nova's like coat, and you pull out a shard of magic, spins it into an ice blade, throw it into the Inquisitor. He's battered by the snow, and you can see the frost is building up along his arms. He's shivering uncontrollably, still standing, but just like, I think we made a, we made a mistake. Um, and the, the one in the armor is just like, stay, uh, stay frosty. Stay strong, brother. <laughs> We're going to teach these fucking foreigners a lesson. Nope. Quill. This is my uh, life. <laughs> Too real, man. It's too yeah. hashtag too real. Don't forget <laughs> hey, <burnt. laughs> It's almost like you know you get to like certain areas where religious places can develop into cults and it gets really bad. Mm. Yeah. Um, so if Sentry failed that, she would have died. By the way, so I'm gonna heal her. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 are you? I'm six. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. I didn't even Took know. one of our own team to almost <laughs> knock you down. <laughs> Welcome to the show! I'm so sorry. It's all right. <laughs> so I'm going yes, to... Yes, we killed our sentry! <laughs> oh no, you're so far away from me. I, I need to do... You can heal a word. Yeah, it's the ranged one. The ranged one is garbo, though. You can move up and touch it. But then, I'd be, then I'd be within range of flame. Yeah, you would. Yeah. And I wouldn't be able to get away from him. Yeah. I, I can't care. How much do you care about sentry? And no. they say that a hero <laughs> will save us! Nickel I don't want to. Look, every fight I've lost. <laughs> so I'm gonna healing at, word at level um, at level two healing word. There we go. Two d four um, plus wisdom. So two d four plus my wit. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a two. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's like five. Five hit points. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's better that's than almost nothing. Double. Better than almost nothing. double. Almost yeah. double, isn't it? Nothing. Almost and that, double. That was a bonus action. So that was a bonus action. Like double but digits. It was a spell, so yes, can... you can cast cantrips though. In that case, I will. No, sacred flame's a bad idea. Cast <laughs> spell a die. Sacred flame is radiant damage. It's not fire damage. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Yes. It is. In that case, Which I will... is very confusing as a spell. Name. Yeah, I will sacred flame the big flame boy. The, the big front. flame boy, one, one in front of Ayla. Yes. Okay, he fails. Um, he fails, and that's a D8, a D8, a D8, a, a D8. D8! I think it might be a D6. Is it a D8? Yeah, for a good okay. oh, I'm wrong. six to Margie. I thought, I thought Sacred Flame was quite weak. Uh, how much was it? No. Uh, six damage. Six damage. It's incredible, thank you very okay. much. Okay. It's okay. Thank you, Quill. So that just mm. dips down onto his head like a molten crown. Oh, oh, nice. oh. <laughs> it's just like ah, it's like this golden energy. These like golden feathers kind of <laughs> batter him amongst the, the snow. Yeah. Um, he on his turn. So the custodist, the one in the armor with the staff, is just like we can't, we can't fail here. Uh, I need to have a quick look up of a spiel. Is it sneers smoke and snowstorm? It's not. No. <laughs> it's, uh, it's called fireball now. <laughs> okay. It's called death ray. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry, I just need to check how much this does. I think I know how much it does, but I need to check. I wonder if that's why the Sacred Flame hurt him so much. Because he just got hit with a cold, and then like heat him up a lot real quick. <laughs> it's <laughs> like... Drinking expanding. Yeah. <laughs> it's like having a frosted windscreen, but you put a boiled kettle of water on it. Mm. <laughs> Explosive. Yeah, and that's... He, he's dead, actually. Or eating an ice cream and then having a cup of tea. Your teeth explode. <laughs> Oh, and that's why I have veneers. Yeah. <laughs> so by the laws of physics, that guy should actually just be dead. Yeah? Yeah. Sh shall I apply the laws of physics to you guys from now on as well? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> No, thank so, you, Mark. <laughs> he the one in the main uh, the one in the armor that you just struck with the sacred flame mutters a word. A healing word of mass variety uh, as a bonus mass action. Healing word. He has that? He does. The D4 for everybody. Crap, he's so high level. 
He's at least level four. <laughs> I mean, you'd know better than me. You've actually I've, been a level four. Maybe level five. Um, yeah. That's a bonus action, You're and then it's his line. main action. It's a bonus action. It is a bonus action. That's a healing yeah. word. Yes. And then he will attempt to uh, fight. Um, Sentry is a bit of a problem, so I think he's going to go for oh. Sentry. Seeing that you're weakened. Oh Ayla's no! Right there. Ayla is there, but he also knows that the Guardian is weakened, and the Barbarian didn't hit him very hard last time. But who's more foreign? That's <laughs> <laughs> true. It's <laughs> a point. Uh, does a 19 hit you, Sentry? Yes. Okay. I think he needs to make an intelligence check so or that, a save. That's seven points of damage as the Crozier Staff slams down on you. And then he will do his other attack at Aelin. Uh, <laughs> That's not too good. It's going to hit. Great. Which is going to be another... Hero uh, <laughs> Half, now she's I'll raging. Away. <laughs> so he kind of slams down with his Crozier's staff, like bam, bam, slams into the two targets. It's like, we can win this, come on, fight! Fight. Nova. Can I? You're lucky, I didn't attack you one round. I'm not gonna forget again. Does the fire spread, by the way? Uh, so this round, it probably, this round it will start to, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, the smoke has been building, but it's just been kind of like burning things away so far. Did my Snillox... I've, I've got stuff. Did my Snillox... Where did you place it? You placed it here. Yeah. No. Can you do that again? Uh, it's a level two. Okay. Just keep snow snowing. You can do another level two. I can. Okay. I didn't say no. <laughs> I just said it was a level two. What are you doing, Nova? I'm going to melee attack. Uh, whoever's closest to me. They're both within five feet. Are they Are they in range of... Yes. Melee attacks. Yikes. That's a nine to hit. So they just have these uh, long swords. They just parry as the stone echoes amongst the sound. You can hear the fire beginning to grow next to you. I was going to oh. green flame bra braid them. Yeah. You've green flame you, braid like them. What's your turn you got? Just move and bonus action. Right, the Near utility of it all. Storm. Green flame braid. Snillox, snowmore, snowarm. I can't move, can I? <laughs> if you do, they'll get attack opportunity. Opportunity attack. I'm just going to stay here and so die. So stay there? I'm just going to die. All right, well, they're going to attack you. Yep, yeah. here we go. They're going to attack you. Um, okay, so the first one, that is a natural one. No. Second one, however, sword. is a 21. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so as he hits you, um, you watch as his weapon, this sword, oh, erupts right. into flame as it hits you, uh, seemingly drawing strength from his ally next to him. They are not subtle. So that is going to be three... 12 points of damage. As this flaming sword clashes into your body. Um, the other one is going to now leave the Dean and charge up next to this guy to fight Ayla. Fucking garbage misses. <laughs> Good. Oh. Just like swings the sword, but Ayla brings the huge hammer, the Howling Gale, kind of blocks it with the the uh, haft of its uh, of the weapon uh, against their attacks. Dun, 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 dun. Um, then we go to Ayla's turn. Whacking. Yeah. Ayla Whacking. will whack, attack, whack. attack the big boy. Natural one. Oh. Not even joking. Dexterity saving throw. That's another natural one. That's got three in a row, yep. isn't it? Yep, <laughs> that's fucking, well, two in a row for that one anyway. I rolled one against right. Kim, yeah. then I got a hit against Kim, oh, then I rolled yeah. two natural ones. Shit. But guess how much damage I rolled for her lightning? One. Natural one. It was! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. So this little <laughs> <laughs> Once again, the static electricity rubs off uh, her hair. Her hair raises slightly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as it just zaps her with a tiny Who has little... a balloon? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Inquisitor, as he is frightened, has to, he basically has to move away from Sentry this turn. So he will, he will spend his action to disengage and then his move action to go, ah! Wow! Oh, he's yeah. gonna open the door, that's cool. So he would, well, yeah, he would go five, 10, 15, 20, and then his bonus action is to open the door. I'd like it if he runs out into the main street and it's like, ah, I'm terrified, we're killing people in there. And then everyone out there knows what's happening. Possibly. No? Um, but he gets to the door, he opens it, and that's the end of his turn. Sentry. Yeah, it's a little fun the, the, Can you just check for Wrathful Smite? How long does the Frightened last for me? Oh, the Frightened. 
it's until the spell ends. Mm, as an action, the creature can make a wisdom check. So he gets oh, okay. a saving throw. Well, as, yeah. an as, an, as, as an action. So he couldn't have used his action to get disengaged in that time. Yeah. Oh, well, he would just choose to do it. As an action, so we choose, yeah. 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 Okay. Otherwise, one That's minute. That's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. One. Minute. Cool. Um, okay, so he's going to run away. Okay, so he's he's on the process of running away. Cool. Then I'm going to move back. I think back to where Quill is. Um, hmm. You're going to travel between you and you. Cool. Cool. He's going to hit you. Ah! Well, you can spend yeah. your action to disengage, and then no nobody can take opportunity mm. attacks against you. Then I could just smack that guy in the face. You could just also hit him. I kind of want to hit him in the face, sure, do though. It. Do, we, do what you think Sentry would do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just hit the guy in the face, because he's annoying me. He's a big racist. He is a big racist, and I don't stand for that. I don't stand for that! So I'm, I'm going to hit this guy. I have <laughs> in the face, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Total attack. That is an eight. So that he swings the crozier's staff and blocks your axe, kind of hooks it underneath the blade, mentioned to slide it to the side, defending himself, just like throwing you to the side, like, don't take me for some unskilled priest, guardian. <sighs> but you're a massive racist and I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? Um, That's your action. Can I, um, can I move back as a bonus action? Uh, no. Oh no, okay. You, then could spend your, you could move, but he'd get an opportunity attack against you. Can I ready an action? No, because no, you used your I've action. Used my okay, then I'm good. You're just good? I'm okay. good. So after sentry, Lucius. Okay. Night Frost, I need you. Oh. What do you need, Master Lucius? I'm going to do Misty Step. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you summon his power <laughs> to Misty Step. Yep. So 30 feet teleport. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you teleport behind this guy? Yes. Okay. So the cloak, you watch um, as the cloak expands like a crawling tendril of shadows and it completely covers Lucius who then just goes flat into a shadow of like a bookcase cool. and then reappears uh, behind the guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Very going to cool. cast... He turns around in a awesome. surprise look. I'm going to cast Lightning Lure on him. Okay. To yank him back in. Yes. Okay. So what do I do? So that is a strength saving throw of a 13. 13, unfortunately, I don't think this guy has a menace. No, I've got a 15. Okay. So the lightning kind of lashes out, goes to wrap around him, but he's- Get back he's, uh, here! He, like, you're like yanked forward. He's, he kind of, he's just like, no! And he goes to run out of the building. You're gonna get away! So I don't have, I haven't used my movement. So what I'll do is- It's a bonus action to use Misty Step, this yes. thing, isn't it? Yes, so yes, bonus action, action, you still have your movement. In which case, I'll run up to him. Okay, that's an attack opportunity from the uh, militant that you're stood next to. Even though his back is, he's on. I mean, yeah. the miniature is, is there, but he, <laughs> he knows that you've appeared behind him, and then as you go to leave, he like gets a free strike at you. Okay. Yeah, so you move, you, you complete the movement. He doesn't stop your movement. Uh, and that is gonna be a 14. Yes. Okay. What now, with your cloak on? Cloak doesn't really give AC. Uh, so, 16. Seven points of damage. No fire damage, though, as you are not next to an ally waiting for you. All good. Uh, so he strikes you, so that's your go. Quill. I am going to use a Bardic Inspiration on Ayla. Okay. So you give Bardic Inspiration to Ayla? Um, and basically, what, you what that is, is I'm basically saying what I'm about to do um, so that she can prepare herself. Because mm -hmm. I am casting, in this area, calm emotions on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody. And I'm giving the Bardic Inspiration to Ayla because her charisma is like... In so you want her to try and save against it yeah. so that she's not affected. Okay. Um, Clever. So it's like, it basically centers on Sentry, but it hits Sentry, Flame Boy, Militant Boy, Ayla, these two fighting Nova, but not Nova. Okay. Does wow. it hit Lucius and the other guy? Oh, it would. Okay. And there must be some positioning I can do to... It would probably hit me then. Yeah. Put where you're going to put it. I'll put it where it also hits Lucius well, you, as well. Well, you need to 
But yeah, okay, so that would basically be sentry, because what is it, 20 foot? Yeah. So 5, 10, 15, yeah, it would hit pretty much everybody. Everyone, in fact, yeah. Okay. Does it hit me? It will hit well. sentry as well. It won't hit you, though. Isn't a 20 foot radius 10 either side? Not. Oh, like... that's true, actually, yeah, it's 10 feet. So oh, is it 10? You, yeah. So you wouldn't, you'd, wouldn't hit this guy. You'd hit everybody, you wouldn't hit Nova, you'd hit this guy, this guy, this guy, Ayla, and sentry. So three of the five bad guys. Yeah, that's not bad. And I'll take it. Okay. And also, in the process, I'm calming everyone down on our side too. Sure. Chill. Chill okay. And the DC is? Literally. 13. No more fire. Why can't we be 13? Yeah. Okay, so Sentry, you need to make a charisma saving throw as Am well. Am I not in it then? No. And then for these guys as well. Hey, oh, Sentry wow. passes. Passes. And I don't need to make it. No. no. Um, Ayla does pass it, as do the other two guys, I'm afraid. Oh. Everybody passed it. There's a third guy as well. Which third guy? Um, oh yes, I forgot the one uh, the one fighting Ayla, the other militant. No. Yeah, 18. Mm -hmm. No, for some reason I remember the one fighting you, but I forgot the one next to Ayla. Okay. Everyone passed. Everyone passed, I'm afraid, dude. DC 13, I just made good saves. <laughs> so you're like, I'm gonna do this! And they all listen. <laughs> yeah. <Still> their minds. <laughs> How interesting. Did, I, did Ayla use her bardic instinct? She did. For that as well. And if she hadn't, she would have failed. Good. Uh, so that was a strategy. That uh, was a strategy. I haven't got a bonus action uh, cantrip, so I'm gonna. Uh, I guess I'm right next to the Temple of Hesper, aren't I? You are. I'm, so I'll stay there. Okay. Okay. Top of the round. I know it's break time, Steve. I just want to try and get through this combat, and then we'll take the break. Oh, the Custodus. This guy here. Uh, he'll grunt. I'm behind a pillar, you can't see me. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pillar. Just two people swinging wildly at nothing <laughs> behind a pillar. Like fighting a pillar. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid guards. He raises a finger where a single orange bead appears. Oh no. And he flicks it to just behind Ayla, right in front of you, Quill. And this fireball explode. Oh, oh God. I need you and Ayla to make dexterity saving throws. Oh He's boy. He's gonna target it so it basically, it's like five, 10, 10, yeah. So it hit this this area here. I think it might be bigger, but then I would just put it further back and it would just hit. 16. 16, that's a pass. You're gonna take half damage. <laughs> um, Still doesn't feel good. Ayla got a 14, which is a pass as well, I believe, just. So mm -hmm. half damage for her as well. So, let's roll some dice. Three. How many dice is a fireball? Eight d6. You're kidding. Nope. Yeah. What level spell do you remember, is fire? Do you remember in um, Boomer's Odyssey, mm. and he had a necklace of like... Oh, that, yeah. Oh, that. 10, 22. Where do you get those from? The man who blew up your horse. <laughs> I meant this guy. That's a different the man universe. who blew up your horse. Dead on 30 points of damage. Oh! 15. And Ayla takes four. Oh god, I would have been down if I failed that. It would, have been, it would have done 30 points of damage. You and Ayla would have been down if you hadn't saved. So you and Ayla leap to the side as this fireball detonates, this cacophony of an explosion. Bookcases are shredded. The whole thing completely ignites as well. I'm going to add even more fire from Big <laughs> fire. Oh, that's a... That's big daddy fire. I'm that's right big next to fire. it as well. Um, as the whole, all the bookcases on the walls all erupt in flames. Um, and actually, that seems a good point to take a break. Oh, back yeah, the entire the building's break. on fire. So, Jeez. this fireball erupts, um, and he just kind of calls back. He's just like, burn this place of heresy to the ground! <laughs> okay. We'll take a break. We'll see you in five. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs>
Rock and roll. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us as we are in the middle of a pretty desperate little battle on both sides at this yeah. point. You said desperate. The party are inside the Temple of Hesper where a group of armed men and women, uh, they're not all men, uh, but they've just only got male miniatures, uh, have stormed in and we're about to escort Dean Simon, the uh, priest of Hesper, out to, on the orders of somebody called the Abbotess, towards the uh, Abbey, the local uh, fortress of Palador. Mm -hmm. When, after a bit of a confrontation, and just as they were about to leave, the party kind of eventually decided that this was not right and that they should intervene, and a combat has ensued. Uh, the last thing that happened was a fireball detonating around Quill and Ayla, um, just catching Ayla on the cusp, uh, and that was the last thing that happened. And we, in fact, go to Nova Vija. You hear this kind of cacophonous explosion erupt. And does, it, it, so the way the fire is, is Quill trapped or not? Huh? Is Quill trapped? Um, he's certainly not trapped, but it's not good for him either. I'm just gonna like throw a bunch of this stuff. Yeah. I've, been, I've been less trapped, but I've definitely been... Less fiery. Less fiery. Move it out of the way so that the camera can get a good view. Nice. Um, <laughs> the guy ran out the door. So what are you doing? <laughs> Noves? Yeah, no. I'm just, I'm weighing it up. I could fight these two twats and probably die. Or get out of it. Hmm. Good options. <laughs> <laughs> or leave us all to die. I mean, a conflicted decision, clearly. Um, I can fight these guys and die, or leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I disengage, is that, that's an action. So for you it would be an action, and then the rest of your movement for the whole turn, doesn't matter who you go past, you, ne you don't provoke opportunity attacks. So you action, disengage, spend your movement. I think I might have to do it. Mm -hmm. An action, disengage, at least because they've got me in a really tight little Yes, the only here. thing is you can't move through their space. Um, so you can run past off, them. So I can't get No, the they're, they're completely doing. blocking you in between this oh, like right. stone, stone column. There's no fire blocking you, is there? No, not. Backwards, at the yeah. moment? No, not at the moment, Just although the fire is, is growing and the heat is beginning to get very oppressive, especially for Quill. Uh, I, the thing is, I want to get away and attack the main guy, but I think I'm going to have to kill a turn to do it. So, yeah, can I disengage? So you disengage as your action, and now you can move 30 feet and you don't provoke opportunity attacks. Uh, so, 5, 10, 15, 20... Um, 25, so I'll be next to Quill. Mm -hmm. You can feel this intense heat now coming from these, you know, burning bookcases around you. Can I like maybe push something over to like stop them kind of coming this way? Like, yeah, there's like, there's like these barrels that the books were currently, there was like a bunch of barrels that he was using as impromptu bookshelves yeah. um, beforehand. So yeah, you can try so, and pull those over. They are on fire. Yeah. So how are you going to do it? Um... Mage Hand? But that's an action, isn't it? Barrel's too heavy for a Mage Hand, I'd say. Mage Hand can really only push like five pounds. It doesn't really have enough pushing force. It's like you can grab something and then pull. Can I just waft some flames? <laughs> <laughs> Done. Um, Actually, that's a cool idea. You've got I think Mage Hand's an action anyway, so if I disengage... Mm -hmm. That'd be a cast of a spell, yeah. Um, yeah, can I try and push something over? Yeah, so you'd have to kick it. So why don't you give me a dexterity check just to see if you can do it without really injuring yourself. You're still going to take so a bit of damage. just a straight up dexteru. Yeah, like a dex saving throw. Saving throw. Twelve. Twelve? Okay, I'd say that's enough where you managed to put your hands back. You're still going to take three fire damage. Because like, just like getting close enough to it and shoving it over is enough to kind of, yeah, basically. Singe me. Yeah. It's hot. So we'll kind of tap. Oh, that's hot. Oh, oh, oh that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Oh, shit. I do that. Nice. Um, kind of sealing off a portion of it. And it. I mean, it's not created a complete seal. They could jump over it, but it would be painful for them to kind of pass through the flames as well. Give them something to think about. Yeah, it's certainly going to at least divert their attention onto another one of your allies temporarily. Oh. Because um, it's harder to come after you. Uh, after them, it's the militants go. Why'd you have to phrase it like that? And seeing that you've now done that, they'll turn and they're gonna move around Sentry. Oh, fuck Nugget. Sorry, Sentry. No, you're all good. Uh, this one will turn. Ayla, so Sentry, you're gonna have a bunch of attacks coming at you. Uh, 
I mean, Sentry's got a higher AC. It's better that they're attacking Sentry than they're coming after Squishy Nova. Yeah, what's your health? <clears throat> 17. Nope. Miss. Uh, ooh, that's a six. No, so no, no, no. both of them, they kind of go to strike at Sentry. Oh, I feel better. She pulls the shield back, <laughs> raises the axe, parries both blows as they fail to connect. And then the other one will try to hit Ayla uh, for a... What's her AC? No, also fails to hit Ayla as well, who kind of leaps back um, and he's kind of just swinging his blade away, trying to get a free cut in at Ayla herself. Um, after there go, Ayla herself. She will swing at the Custodus one last time. Got a seven. Pretty bad. Um, Thirteen. It's not going to hit him. He kind of brings up the Crozier staff, blocks the blocks the strike, uh, fails to connect. Stack saving throw for him. That's a fail. For two points of lightning damage. Ooh, Woo! That's double. World record. <laughs> kind of like blasts him a little bit as he raises his hand up to try and uh, protect himself. Is his app two is a blast. The incredible. Oh, the one at the door, mm. the one. Mm. Okay, it can't willingly move closer to Sentry, but he doesn't necessarily have to run away, reading the frightened condition. But he does have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of his fear is in sight. So what would he do? <clears throat> I think that he knows that Sentry's not a threat to him right now. So he's going to stay, but his fear is still shaking him, and he's going to try and attack Lucius. So uh, he pulls out the whip and tries to uh, strike you with it. He has disadvantage. Does a doo -doo -doo 15 hit you? Yeah. 15. So the whip wraps around you. Um, you're already close to him, so yanking you closer doesn't do anything, but you, you're grappled. You can feel yourself like tied up. Uh, and then he goes to kind of grab you with his hand. You're grappled, so he has advantage, but he still has a disadvantage because of sentry, so it's a flat roll for a 10. 10 damage. 10 hit to, to try and hit you. What's your AC? Yeah. So you kind of throw yourself to the side and his hand like just barely misses you, maybe touches a bit of night night frost, and it's like, ah, um, as he tries to tries to grab you, but fails to hit um, that disadvantage. Sentry. Um, can I cast Ensnaring Strike on my axe? Can I do it at level, uh, is it level two? Mm -hmm. Second yeah. level, yeah. If it allows, if it says that you can cast it as a higher level spell. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I'd like to yeah. cast a snaring strike and use it on this guy before he burns more of this place to the ground. Okay, so uh, how's it all work? So is it like a wrathful smite, like bonus action? Um, so it's in snaring, yeah, it yeah, so it's a bonus action. Yeah. Um, it's like your ranger one, wasn't it? Was yeah, yeah, it takes yeah. 1d6 piercing damage at the start okay. of each turn. So make another attack roll to I try and see if you can bar. hit this guy. So this is with your normal bonus. And that is 10. 10 against the main guy? <laughs> yes. It's more than that. Is it? Yeah, go to actions. Because it's usually your battle Plus 6, so 8 oh, plus, plus 6. It. Oh, 14. Okay. 14. 14. It's still not enough, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, the breastplate that's kind of around his main chest, the axe hits that, giving him that just enough time to like throw himself back before you put the full weight of the blow into it. So the ensnaring strike is still on the axe. It doesn't, okay. It's and when you hit, it nice. goes off. But yeah, he just kind of leaps to the side, <clears throat> kind of worried now that you're engaged with him. Um, as he turns around. He's got a hammer on one side, a big axe on the other. Yeah, he's not. He's looking pretty pretty surrounded at this point, although he does have his other allies with him. Um, but yeah, doesn't doesn't connect, I'm afraid. No worries. Um, Lucius, you are grappled, so you can use your move action to try and escape. Athletics or acrobatics. At the start of your turn, though, you are going to take some damage, because you are grappled. Six piercing. That's a lot of damage. Uh, athletics. So it kind of tightens the whip and you feel these barbs stick into you. Or athletics. Uh, or... Acrobatics or athletics. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you roll it on like the tiniest bit of the table? You have this enormous table. <laughs> There's a dice tray as well. Like, yeah. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> Five. <laughs> Deserved. You're still <laughs> grappled. Um, so you still got you locked up tight. You still have your action and bonus action though. Okay, I'm going to cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, sweet. So you can't get mocking level. me. No, no, that's no. Fine. That's not. That's like a genuine like. No, that's a perfect thing to do in this. I'm situation. doing a level two. So ten temporary hit points. And Correct. Whilst you have those temporary hit points, anybody that hits you takes ten cold damage. Yes. So increases. Ten. Yeah, ten. Ten. So and then you dichromancy goes off as well. Correct. In which case, that is a level two spell plus, so plus three, three five. So five two. Him. To the Inquisitor. And I'm just saying, 
while grappled. Stand down! <laughs> <laughs> Your eye flares in this cold. Uh, you catch like a hint of blue coming from a store outside the window. Pull it, the colour off, and launch it into his face. Ah! And as he kind of Which like pulls back, Inquisitor. The guy that's grappled me. No, but isn't that guy the guy who grappled you? No, no it's the guy at the door. No. Sorry. Door boy. The frightened one. Door boy. Yes. Um, so you do that, he kind of reels back, and you can see that like he's now bleeding from these multiple cuts. He's looking around terribly. It does look like he's uh, quite injured. Um, Quill. Uh, can I yell to Lucius and Dean and say, Lucius, Dean, can we save the temple? Uh, the Dean is like, it's, the temple is made of stone. The books can be replaced. Just get yourselves out. And you can see he's like wants to leave, but the Inquisitor's kind of like keeping him in the way. He's just like a frail old man. He's, right, he doesn't okay. seem to be a spellcaster or anything like that. Um, uh, he's like, if we can get out, the Harvest Guard may be able to help. Okay, and the two guys that chased are now on sentry that were mm -hmm. chasing Nova before. Yes. They're not enveloped in flame. They're just two. Uh, you did see one of them when it attacked Nova. As he it's struck well Nova, he seemed to pull some sort of energy out of his ally, which ignited his sword in fire. But it's not that they are... They're not made of fire, no. All right. In that case, I will cast Gust um, at the flame that's on the table. Right. And the direction I'm in, yeah, they are the opposite side of the You're going to try and flame. blow the flames onto them, basically. Like, expand the flames over okay. both of them, or at least just that guy. Okay. Um, I'll give them deck saving throws against your spell save, mm -hmm. DC. Okay. So what's your spell save? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's at the top of your spells, man. Uh, oh, it is. Uh, 12 or 13, because of my bard or cleric. I'll say 13. It's, it's, uh, well, what, is Gust a, a bard spell or a cleric spell? It's not keen initiate one, so cleric. Cleric, there you go. So you use your cleric one. 13. 13. Uh, they both fail. Cool. <laughs> they, f they were going to fail either way, but I want you to learn. Uh, <laughs> okay, so cool. the gust kind of blows the flames over them. Roll 2d6 for me, but half it, because they seem to be resistant to the power of the fire. That's what I was wondering. Eight, so four. Four points of damage Still. each. These guys haven't been injured yet, so... So mm. four points of damage to those guys. Um, we'll call them A, B, and C. Uh, so A and B both take some four, four points of damage as this fire kind of gusts over them. Uh, the, the flames themselves by the wind, they would probably still remain, but they're now spreading kind of in this whole area. Yeah, um, that's fine. Because fire will, the, the wind won't blow them out instantly. That is okay. I... Okay, at the end of your turn, Quill. Well, I've also got bonus action. Oh, go on, um, please. Sorry, I will do a, another healing word. Sure. Uh, on, <laughs> looking around the room. <laughs> um, well, I'll, I'll just say hit points. Ayla is at 15. I don't know what century's on. Oh, on four. <laughs> Our car's not on century. <laughs> <laughs> Seems wise. Um, uh, first uh, or second level? Uh, ooh, first level, unfortunately. Okay. I need to preserve. I need to preserve my precious spellies. <laughs> Three, five. <laughs> five more points. Thank you. That at level one did as good. Okay. Bullshit. At the end of your <laughs> turn, Quill, <laughs> I need you and Nova. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I should have moved. I think, yeah, I think Sentry and Ayla and A and, and the two other minions as well. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much everybody except this guy and this, because uh, he's in the middle. Yeah, because Sentry's next to this one, Ayla's next to this one, and then you guys next to it. So, yeah, so constitution saving throws, please. Good luck. That guy. That guy. Hmm. That guy. Okay. Um, what'd you get? 16. 16? 14. 14? 16. Okay. You three are all fine for now. Um, Ayla still manages to get 13, so she's fine for now. One of them, uh, you can see the room is beginning to fill with a thick smoke and the heat is beginning to get incredibly oppressive. And you can see he kind of is like <coughs> coughing a little bit, but uh, doesn't show immediate signs of like collapsing or anything like that, but it's definitely beginning to, to get quite severe. And staying in any longer, there's gonna be a, a harder and harder you know, chance to resist the fire, the, the heat and things like that. Um, so the Custodus. 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 He will. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So where's my where's handbook? So who's this? Custodus. This is the custodian. The guy with the guy. staff, the main guy. Mega racist. Flame boy. Yeah. Yeah, flame boy. The human torch. Flame on. 
that was um, Chris Evans, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So he's, yeah, both. Okay, oh god, I didn't even look at what time for saving throw was. We all pass! No, you don't. Pass. Sorry. Dexterity. Sorry that I don't know every single spell. I have to look things up, all right? Unbelievable. Why don't you? Yeah. So, yeah. Ayla, Sentry, Quill, Nova, because you're currently grappled, I think, so he would not think you too much of a threat. No, everybody except Quill. So, Lucius, Nova, Sentry, and Ayla. I need you to make charisma saving throws. As he begins to whisper, he's like, Ash, curse them, bring them <gasps> bane. I'm less of a threat than a grapple of Lucius. Yes, because you've only been healing people so far, really. Um, so, <laughs> Ayla actually manages, so what'd you get, Sentry? Nine. Nine, Nova? 25. Ooh. Nine. Nine. So, Lucius and Sentry, you are currently under the effects of the Bane spell. Oh. Every uh, attack roll or saving throw, you deduct a D. So or annoying, five. I was about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you still can. Now it looks like I'm a copycat, and I don't want to be a copycat. <laughs> um, bane. Bane, bane, I bring the bane. Um, and, yeah. That's with me, that. I'm clinically insane. Uh, and then he will, he will direct his minions. Uh, quickly, finish them now! Uh, and I think that's all he can really do. Yeah, he can't really move at this point. So that's what he's going to do. Because um, if we cast a spell, I can't do that as a bonus action. No. Okay. So we go to Nova. So. Is he wearing metal? Yeah, he's got a metal breastplate on, yeah. Cool. But he's probably resistant to fire. So I'm going to Eldritch Blast him. Uh, 19 to hit. Hits. Uh, three, but then I get a plus two to damage rolls. Why? Because I Hexblade crushed him. Did you? Yeah, yeah right at the right beginning. Start. Literally my first bonus action. Yeah, she did say it. Oh, okay. I genuinely don't remember that. I am literally getting old and insane. <laughs> uh, but sure, yeah, okay. Um, so so you Hexblade curse, so you get an extra two. Wait, what did I just roll on my damage? 19. Three. No, oh. the... the but it has to be a 19, because I get a crit on a 19 or a 20, but it has to be 19 without adding? Yes. Yeah, yeah it's a 19 on the dice, yeah. Um, five. Five points. Dead. You kill them all, actually. No. They're all linked. No, he's not. I've minded, and they all die. <laughs> he does not appear to be dead, uh, but you blast him with the light, and he <clears throat> kind of gets hit in the shoulder and staggers back. Can I use my bonus action to, like, rip some um, material put some water on it for my water thing. That's way you know. too much for a bonus action. <laughs> that's, that's, like a, that's a full round. Can I throw my water over myself? Yes. Cools you down. It's yeah. nice. I hope that it might help. Maybe. Me not getting on We'll fire. see. Yeah. Mark off some rations. I don't know. I'll remember that she's just playing with uh, So, the normal guys now he will wins. try and strike. So, two against sentry, trying to take her down. Uh, a two, nope. so five. Mm -hmm. The next one is a 19. That uh, hits. Uh-oh. So as before, you watch as he pulls out this flame-like power from his ally. Uh, that's gonna be two, three, six, nine points of damage. That's exactly on it, I'm that's down. It. So you go to zero. Oh, yeah, mother. Um, the other one already attacks the seeing century, and then the other one will attack Ayla. Here we go, boys! Uh, no, oh, fails to hit. Fuck. Ayla's got such a high AC for a barbarian, it's nuts. Mm. Hey, Mark, um, injury check. Uh, yes, constitution saving throw, please. Four Here we century. go, boys! Constitution saving throw. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no! Okay. No! You're already saying no because you're the one that reminded me of it. It worked. Every time I reminded people in the past. Yeah, that's how now it works. Now I feel bad. That's how it works, Tom Hazel. You lose a wing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so, can Quill you roll a d20 point. for me, please? Mm -hmm. yeah, Cuts and bruises. Cuts and bruises. 20. 20. Oh, natural 20. Cuts and bruises. Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh my prior word! <laughs> my Casper! <laughs> so, if you watch this sentry, it goes down. Um, seemingly uninjured. 
Uh, <laughs> Fight! <laughs> Oh, the other one fails to uh, hit Ayla, so that's their go done. It's now Ayla's go. So close. Ayla, seeing Jesus Sentry go down, Christ. will attack the main custodius recklessly. We're never going to get to Spell Clash. This is Spell Clash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap, I this wanted to is... take that before the fight. Oh, oh. Spell clash. Don't forget, you should have taken a, a d4 off that constitution saving throw. Because of the Bane spell. Oh shit, that would have been that, like a that zero. Is the death save wait, no, heroes. no, no, wait, it would have been the net, so she would have got like minus four, minus two, sorry, from the first one, so she would have been injured anyway. She got an actual 20 on the injury check, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, is but for. <laughs> Back off, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> but I am now gonna remind you that for Century's death saving throws, it's minus she four. She has a minus four. four. Wait, it's, so okay. A, it's okay, it's okay. I think. No, actually, plus. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. I think you just roll a d20. Uh, well, it, does, it doesn't say saving throws. What, on Bane? Yes, it, just it does say saving throws. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it applies to the same. Yeah, it does. 14 plus every time to roll. You can do it. Easy. I got you. So easy I got to you, roll. Boo. Easy. I got you, boo. Easy, Before girl. the spell ends, for a minute. That's the 10 rounds. Is it concentration? It's not. It is. It is concentration. Whack that guy. Which guy? Inquisitor? I don't know. I don't remember who cast it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone there? I want to check one thing. I've got to open here if you want to. No, I want to check Death and Dying rules. I just realised this D&D Beyond Bantry Pack is called Brookstone. Oh my god. Oh no. No wonder it's not working. Cast it into the fire. <laughs> cast it into the fire from whence it came. broke stones. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. It's... <gasps> While we call them death saving throws. Okay, it says, it's, it, this is one of the problems with D&D, right? It's called a death saving throw. But it doesn't. It says, end. unlike other saving throws, this roll isn't tied to an ability score. You're in the hands of fate. Unlike other saving throws, which so it is suggests it's a saving throw. Yeah, so we're going to have to call it a saving throw, so Bane is still going to apply. I mean, it that is. makes Bane so Horrible. scary against players. So saving anyway. three is Bane and death saves. So Ayla attacks mm. with advantage against the Custodus. She hits. And kills him. For quite a lot of damage. Yay! Seven for, uh, or seven plus six, because she's raging, so 13 points. And who was it who cast the Bane? Ooh. Uh, it was him. Um, and you watch as Ayla just kind of looks over. Uh, the lightning crackles up and down her form. She brings the hammer up and he blocks it, but he does not put enough strength behind it. And he kind of, his uh, staff is thrown into his chest. He is thrown backwards uh, nice. by Ayla's blow and slams into the ground as you hear this wet thickening against his head. Oh. As he's dead. <laughs> Bane goes, you're no longer affected by Bane. Yes. Um, oh, I get eight hitch points. Hitch you, points. Hitch, hitch points. points. Get some hitch points. Um, Alfred hitch points. Alfred hitch points. Unfortunately, because you uh, went on, I don't know, because the Wrathful Smite is just a minute until it ends. It's not concentration, is it? So the frightened effect still is in place. Um, mm. It says concentration on Wrathful Smite. Ah, then. Yeah. But is it a concentration on the Once the, the frightened, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think that when he saw Sentry go unconscious, I'm going to make a ruling that the frightened effect goes away. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. I think you guys would agree, so. Because um, it's his go. That's why I was like kind of interested body. to know. So, he now has Lucius grappled. Um, and he will attempt to touch you with his fiery skin. He has Hot. advantage, because you're currently grappled. 15. Yeah. So as he's kind of got you bound up by this whip, he places this burning hand across uh, onto your chest. I place cold onto him. Where he will take the damage. So it's 11 points of damage. So all of your ah! temporary hit points from the thing you go. Yep. Uh, so you take one point of damage to your normal hit points. Down to four. Um, really, you're off that low. Um, <laughs> oh, but then he takes 10 cold damage back, which is enough to kill him. <gasps> yeah! Oh! So he like grabs you, not quite understanding this spell that you've cast on yourself. Um, he grabs I wouldn't him, do that. And then as he's just like, be quiet. Ah! And then <laughs> this explosive like ice armor erupts all over him, embeds him with all these shards. He's like, I shouldn't have. There's three left. Amazing. Two grunts and 
Uh, just these three guys, oh, basically. Three, yeah, three, yeah, three guys. Um, and looking around like this, this burning building, they look down at their fallen companions and just nod at each other and just hold their ground. Oh. Really? Yeah. Can we just lock it's them? almost like religious zealots believe in something more important than dying to themselves. Racism. <laughs> Racism, that's exactly it. Sentry, you are unconscious. Hello. Death saving throw, please. D20. D20. You don't want a nine or lower. 16. 16's a success. One success. Is Bane minusing that? Oh no, Bane's gone. Bane's, Bane's gone. Bane's gone. Bane gone. Bane. Uh, Lucius, with your four hit points, you are up. Dean! The yeah. exit is free. Please go through. It's like very good. Yes. I'll block the path. Yeah. From you. Haha. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Trips him up and way out. I'll go and I'll go and fetch as much help as I can. Somebody must have heard that explosion. And some water! Yes. It's like. And he like shuffles, he's like hitches up his like long robes like a you know Aww. like a professor. He's like <laughs> staggering out. Let's spin around. What? And Did you say at the start of all of this there might be more outside? That they, they came in. Okay. <laughs> they what? Came in. what? <laughs> I just, wanted, I just gonna... wanted to be sure yeah. that I, that was it was my I, question yeah, of like that. they all came in, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Wonderful. You're gonna cast chromatic orb. Yes. To win it. Yes, I leave. Two sorcery points. Oh shit. Yes. <laughs> so that's three D eight. Yeah. Um, and it's two separate attack rolls. Two separate attack rolls. Yes. All right. So the first one to hit. Uh, so that's fourteen against two. This one. That one. Fourteen to hit. You say. Not enough. He has yes. a shield which he's like poosh, as this orb smashes against it. Second one is the exact same roll. So these two just like, poosh, poosh, as they're slammed by these, sh uh, these chromatic orbs. Mm. Um, um, however, still a dichromancy. Yeah, so that's um, four. four. To which one? The closer guy. So that one? Well, uh, that was A. So that, whilst the fire kind of erupts around his shield, or I'm guess is it acid or cold, I'm guessing? It's cold. Number two, cold. So as the cold kind of envelops around his shield, you kind of angle it and it spears him with small points of the, the ice energy that was forming. Um, after Lucius, Quill. Uh, okay, um, I am going to... <clears throat> uh, oh, if I shield a faith, I can't heal. <clears throat> oh, it's so annoying, the not two spells in one turn thing. <clears throat> You know? So annoying, I can't shape the fabric of reality twice in six seconds. No, I just... Oh! <laughs> what a stupid game. <laughs> God, I'd love to be able to cast two meteor swarms a turn. If they No, I mean, I, I just mean one's a bonus function. action. One's a, one's a bonus action, yes. the other is an action. That's the other one is a cantrip. No, I'm sorry, you can't summon Seriously. the mystical energy no, both of these to do two things. But that, that's what I mean. One's a bonus action spell, the other's a action spell. Yeah, you only have so much personal energy to shape reality once, all right? Hesper's with me, Mark. I'd heal me. Hesper's dead. Like, <laughs> heal. This is all on fire. Where is Sentry? I'm Sentry's on down on the floor. Okay, I'm going to weasel up. Uh, Can I attack into of opportunity? Such a position that none of them are actually next to me. Um, and I will level two healing. If you want to touch sentry, let's move this shitty little barrel up. You, you can't, it doesn't need to, it's healing work. Oh, you're healing work. No, no, sorry, the other, the other one. You're doing cure wounds. Cure wounds. Oh. You would need to stand here, which means that you're next to this guy. Because he's basically here. Yeah. If you're going to do that, then. Hmm. I mean... Do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so level two cure wounds is 2d8. 2d8, come on, big heals, big healy big, boy. Eight, eight, big, eight, eight. big two healy eights. boy, that's an eight. That's a seven. Nice. Uh, 15 wisdom. plus uh, three. three, so 18, 18. health back to seven. Oh, Zero to nice. 18. Thank you very much. Zero to 18 in just six seconds. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Fastest healer in the world. Just like that. That's half my hit points back already. <coughs> Thank you. Why, W? Uh, at the end of the round. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the round, I need everybody that is not Lucius to make constitution saving throws. 11. Oh, that's a 21. Constitution. Uh, C. Oh, I've collapsed. I'm dead. Okay, so how much? 21. Uh, four. Four? 11. 11? You didn't need to roll. Okay. You didn't need to roll. Ayla did. She passed. So, um, 
What did you get, sorry, Kim? 11. 11. That's a failure, unfortunately. I am so a failure. you and Quill and um, B and C. In my eyes. So <laughs> this one and this one. Um, you're going to take four points of fire damage and one level of exhaustion as the smoke is like you're crowding. Like <coughs> you can feel yourself cock coughing. Cocking. <laughs> you can feel um, yourself cocking. Exhaustion level one. Oh, that's in the. Uh... Yeah, so that working. means that you currently have disadvantage on ability checks. So anything like skills. Um, Exhaustion. Any skills, not oh. attack rolls and saving throws. Not yeah, ability checks. Level Ooh. one. That's bad. Nice. And you have to long rest to get rid of that shit. Yes. It's like literally you're inhaling this thick smoke. All these parchments, the books that have been burning over the rounds. We're in the best condition for spell smoke. clash, basically. Yeah. It's not happening. Oh yeah, we were doing this. That's, that was tomorrow. That was tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> it is tomorrow. Um, okay, so uh, that is now it goes to Nova, and you are at the back of the room. I'd like to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, five, ten. Boy. Okay. Can I get through these guys? Not without provoking top opportunity attacks, because you no, have no, to can go. I push like I mean. I mean, you can move through Quill. You could just go like you. Fifteen. 20, and then, yeah, does that put me to attack him? Yeah, so if you move here, mm -hmm. you won't provoke an opportunity attacks because you've not moved away from this guy's threatened mm -hmm. area, and this guy you'd be next to, so you can and move what, up to here. If I move up to there? If you move up to here, this guy will get an opportunity attack against you. Okay. So what do you want to do? Um, Carry on with that. If yeah, that, yeah I'm going to stay that's where I am and I'm, I'm going to. Um, Don't forget, as well, by the way, when you hit with a melee attack, rather than casting a spell beforehand, mm -hmm. you can just spend the spell slot to do 2d8 as Divine Smite. You don't need to cast it beforehand. You can just hit and go, I'm going to Divine Smite, and then you spurn a spell slot. If you read I'm Divine Smite. Yeah. yeah. If you read Divine Smite. Go on, Kim. Uh, so you're going to move sure. next to this guy, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I just so want to gonna check one thing. Fully step through. Yep. Just like 12 damage. It's one day 12 damage. Yeah. I don't know what that's risky. I'm gonna What's attack him and him? I'm gonna do the old. What? So you're gonna move next so you don't provoke the opportunity attack. Although, you're stop early. What's the green flame? Green flame blade is when you hit. Um, you no, do... I'm just checking if it's fire damage. Yes, I believe it is. Fire because damage. it just says like green fire. It's. I'm pretty sure it's fire damage. It's fire, isn't it? Yeah. It says fire in the title. Fire, green flame, but... flame blade, fire. Just but green. It's green though. So... Like a Bunsen it's, burner. I'm pretty sure in the spell description it says fire damage. Fire damage. Yeah. <laughs> if okay. I was on green fire, I'd still panic. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what are you doing, Nova? What type of fire is invisible? I'm going to try something a little different. Okay. Completely invisible. I love it. And it comes out of cars. I'd like to cast frostbite on this guy. It's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so can you please make me a con save? <laughs> is it a range spell? It's real. You're like, ah, I can't see it. Range area 60 foot. <laughs> okay. <It's> terrifying. <laughs> and it's one creature. But it's a saving throw. Yeah, con. Okay. And don't you have like a disability because he got exhaustion? Uh, that guy, and it's not to saving throws. Not okay. yet. Level one isn't to saving throws. So against that guy, uh, constitution saving throw you said? Mm -hmm. That was a 15 for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. That's all I got, son. That's all you got. Well, so by moving up, you do prevent him from uh, trying to fit. Now, Sentry is still technically knocked down. She isn't. She's still prone. But she'll get back up again. She will get back up. I'll get, get knocked down. Yeah, but I'll get up keep again. <laughs> mm, 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 this guy. Fucking <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, the one next to Nova is going to try and attack you. I think. 18 to hit. Do they suffer the effects of exhaustion? From yeah, one of them is currently. The other one's saved. Right. 18 to hit Kim or Nova. Yeah, I'm just trying to see how long shield lasts. Yeah, carry on. Hit me. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be... And then it's another 2d6 fire damage as he pulls the energy from his ally. That's going to be 6, 13, 14 points of damage as he strikes you in the flame, the blade erupts into flame. Um, the one next to Sentry is going to strike down at Sentry as she's on the ground. He has advantage. That's going to be but only to get a 15. Nope. Ah. So armor kind of blocks it off. Yeah. And then the other one is going to try and hit Ayla, which he actually finally hits Ayla, who is not next to a fucking ally, so he doesn't get his fire damage. Fucking he is going to deal another four points of damage. 
And you can see that Ayla's just shrugging off these blows, but you can see even she's beginning to bleed from multiple cuts and bruises um, as it the battle enrages on. Mm. Uh, mm. We go to Ayla herself, who will recklessly attack the one in front of her. Mm -hmm. Go for very high. I think that is gonna, yeah, gonna kill this guy. Nice. Yeah. She just so slams him into the ground or into the bookcase next to her. She's just wham, and he just flies up into the air. <laughs> Here, the back break, and then body slides down. Um, do it. And then after she kills him, she will. <laughs> yeah. Move on. Yeah, basically stomp up next to this guy. Um, after Ayla, we go to Sentry because the Inquisitor is dead. Nice. I would like stand up for half movement. I'm gonna stand up for half movement. Half in the middle of two people. In the middle of two people. Yes. Fire. Excuse me, friend. Excuse me. Excuse me, friend, but not my friend. You know what I mean. Excuse me, enemy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. The desperate Sorry. attempts to play around with fiddly doll's house dwarven the forge. Nice. Now I'd like to smack the guy behind me with thunder smite, please. Okay, so you cast thunder smite on your yes. on your axe, axe and then whack so him in roll. the face. See if you hit. Attack roll. <gasps> oh. You still had um, in staring strike. So well. in staring strike goes staring away. Strike. Oh, oh. yeah, that's nine. a nine. It's nine now. He's wearing the chain oh. mail and the shield. Oh. <laughs> Absorbs the blow. But stands back. But that sucks. Uh, but Lucius, I'm going to do a couple of chromatic orbs with twin spell again. So the two remaining. Attack roll against the first one. Wow. Fuck. Nope. Second one. Yeah. Fuck. Why don't you actually roll the dice rather than just splat them? It's the same thing. So you still get Dunkermancy on one though. Which uh, one would you like to target? That was a level two. Marking that off. So that's five on the closer guy. Uh, he dies. Oh. No. I do like badass like throws of orbs and then just this tiny thing comes well, the, out. The big orbs they see come in, they raise their shields again, but you kind of expected that from last time. And then as they drop it, just this <laughs> from the eye, <laughs> through the brain, oh, <laughs> slams yeah. down to the ground. What have I become? And the last one is just kind of like, he just nods and he's like, from the flames, Ash purges all. Quill. Ash will purge you then. Um, I will run round to here. Next to him. Next to him, yes. But I'm going to use a gust to push him away from me and into that corridor of fire. Okay. Um, strength so save, he makes a strength save. 19. Cool. And then I'm going to... Um, so you go <laughs> this wind and he just kind of presses into it. Does it push the fire that's next to him? I mean, it, it blows it around, but at this point, the whole place is pretty badly on fire. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Ooh. You're kind of like spreading it around, <laughs> gusts, making it way worse. In that case, I'll um, I'll put a shield of faith for a bonus action on myself. Okay. Um, yeah, I just have to put it on myself. Okay. Uh, yeah. End of the round. Constitution saving throws this time from everybody. Right. Ooh. Is it worse? See <laughs> how better that was? So much better. Century. Nine. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, 19, 20, 20, 20, 22. <laughs> 21. Okay. Um, so everybody except the guy and Sentry, uh, you are going to take half damage. So you take one fire damage. Sentry, hey. you take three. Um, Sentry, you gain a level of exhaustion. Uh, this guy takes three points of damage. take one, one. What's that? You one. took one, yeah. This guy, the flames have built up to such an intensity, like the beams above you are beginning to crack and you kind of hear this and he just looks up as this flaming beam just <laughs> collapses on him <laughs> and just like shatters him against the ground. Oh, wow. And, and this thick smoke is now billowing and you're having the desp your vision starting to go hazy. Most of you are coughing and spluttering. Come on, everybody, out! Yep. Immediately! <laughs> yep. You managed to lead the way, and you can hear Night Frost kind of like, I can lead the way if you need me to, Master Lucian. Do it. Yeah, and he kind of takes his, his shadowy form, and you can see he leaves like a kind of like trail of shadow along the ground. Follow the dark trail on the floor <laughs> and you manage to, <laughs> to a nearest exit. Find your way to the main door, you pull yourself out, and you can see that there is now, coming down the road, you can see like, you know, scores of people with 
you know, buckets and you can see harvest guard druids who are riding, you know, coming in on uh, horses. Mm. Um, and they see you and they're like, come on, come on, and they pull you over. Can I see the books <laughs> on the way out? Just, like, you can try to, yeah, like, yeah, you just grab like a handful of books as yeah. best you can and pull them away um, as you kind of just leave with this handful of stuff. Um, and you kind of pull yourselves out, and at this point, uh, it's quite late at night, so this you can just see the whole tower is now beginning to burn with that emberous kind of Jeez. orange glow. Um, the, the actual rafters of the ceiling, the floors above you have obviously caught and is now spreading. Um, is this um, nothing like the vision, is it? <laughs> no. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was going to say, I literally just told this guy about this. As the Harvest Guard arrive, uh, three of them, all with kind of strange bones woven into their hair. They appear to be dwarves, three dwarven men. Bones, they look like brothers, and they've got bones kind of tied into their hairs and beards. They're wearing sort of like thick leathers, uh, riding these uh, kind of ponies, these short, stout, very hefty, stocky ponies. As they arrive, they look and they're like, Is this all of you? Is this everyone that was inside? Is the Dean here? Dean! He's, and the Dean's just like, I'm all right. And he's like holding a hand up and you can see he's, Malika is, is talking to him. There are fallen uh, worshippers in there. Is there anyone alive inside? Not as far as they're aware. The three druids raise their hands up and they begin conjuring these kind of big gouts of water, which <laughs> onto, the, onto the tower itself. There's this instant kind of sizzle but just sodden, burnt books begin kind of flowing out of the front of the, the t uh, temple itself, um, along with one of the bodies just like <laughs> deposits into the muddy, wet ground in front of the temple. Um, <clears throat> a number of the local villages begin sort of like doing their best to kind of make sure everybody's okay. Uh, there is a Goliath man, a very, not a Goliath, sorry, an Earth Ganassi, um, an old Earth Ganassi. He's very, very old. Uh, and he comes up, and you can see he's got a few uh, younger apprentices with him. Um, and he comes up. He's like, all right, any injuries I need to be aware of? I mean, <laughs> we're all quite injured. <laughs> all right, all right. Come along. Uh, bring the benches here. Bring the benches here. And you can see there's a few kind of stocky artisans. They put some benches down. Lay down. Let's get them all laid down. Make sure they're all right. Check their airways. Get smoke out of them. Um, <laughs> lay down, and he basically they start attending first aid to you. Okay. Um, over the process, uh, Mason and his apprentices will cast enough healing uh, to basically restore you guys to full. Oh. Like, he's going to he's gonna do a prayer of healing himself, then he has his ac acolytes use things like cure wounds. Nice. Um, they attend to the Dean. It's like nothing ever happened, paid. and they revived all my spell slots. No, they <laughs> did, definitely didn't do that. That's amazing. But, um, yeah, I mean, Prayer of Healing is like 3d8 and then yeah, enough it's... castings and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. I guess I should roll it just in case. Did you say exhaustion was gone? No. No, did I hear that? <laughs> no. Sorry, I just kind of... Exhaustion is not gone. Okay. Uh, so that's 14. That so that you'd get 18. Everybody would get 18 from him. And then I think everybody else would... And then you'd get another nine. So yeah. you'd get about 27. Back to four. Yeah. yeah. I figured for most of you that's going to be full hit points. Except Ayla, maybe. In fact, I'll do Ayla now. 27. Heal. Did, did that heal level us up? <laughs> you didn't give us experience <laughs> points last I time. I did give you experience <laughs> points last time. I specifically remember telling everybody I didn't give you experience, so it was this for the last fight, for the Wyvern fight. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tom Hazel agrees. I agree. Did Ayla uh, get XP for fighting uh, Orkman? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh. She got cool story plot stuff into And also eliminated. And yeah. Beat. Did we get XP for dealing with Rosemeadow? No. <laughs> Would you like to continue the game? We still have 30 minutes. Yes, Dad. Mm. Well, did we get XP for that fight? You will get experience for that fight. Nice. Right. Asking the right questions. So, it takes an hour or so. You can take a short rest if you wish as well. Yes, it's please. Hit points. Ooh. It's a short rest. As you are attended to by Mason, who is the priest of uh, Valena, the forge, uh, the forge mistress. Um, he also acts as the local physician. Uh, and healer. Uh, him and his acolytes check you over. They don't ask you any questions about what happened. They simply attest to, attend to your injuries, any injuries you may have. Uh, there are creams for burns that they apply. Um, you, those of you who went to Rose Meadows probably recognize that these are similar bottles to what the centaur carries inside. Mm -hmm. um, and you, over the time, the, whilst the fatigue um, and the dizziness from the smoke inhalation still remains. Any pain is gone. And there, Malika, 
and the Dawn uh, and the Dean arrive. Well, she kind of looks over and you can see that in slung on her back is this incredible great sword she had mounted behind her before. Mm -hmm. um, angelic wings for the guard, long golden uh, uh, handle with a gold pommel. I did ask you to stay out of trouble, but from what the Dean tells me, you were at least attempting to prevent him being escorted off against his will. You really tried. Can you explain to me what happened, Louise? We didn't think that they'd just go from naught to a hundred. Like, we didn't think that that would happen. We saw them try to accost the Dean and take him against his will. They were rough with him. They swore at us. They were pretty racist. They told us they wanted us to leave. So we just voiced some concerns and then straight away he went straight for setting the place on fire. I didn't think he would do that. She nods and you can see there's a very serious, grave look in her eyes. De Dean Simon tripes and he's just like, Malika, what about the others? I see Masons here. What about uh, Elanus? Any of the other priests? Malik is like, the abbotess required their, asked for their attendance at the abbey. You know, Mason, he's too stubborn. He refused to go, but the others went. I suspect that, well, they had to go. Otherwise, something like this, and she gestures towards the temple would have happened. There's been some trouble brewing in Kelly's Rest for a while. Um, it, was, it, it was political to start with. The... The Abbey of Flame has had some difficulties in leadership. The previous abbot, uh, Varson, was a good man, faithful of Palador, believed in everything that is good about Palador. The new abbotess is of a different ilk. She believes in a certain teaching of Palador that encourages some pretty extreme views in others. I knew that she had been plotting something for a while. She's been slowly shaping the Abbey. And it seems that tonight she has requested the attendance of several other temple leaders. And I suspect that she intends to keep them at the Abbey as hostages of a sort, um, or certainly do something. You got in the way. These people are not well. They have had things taken from them, they have had their lives ruined, and this abbotess and her cult, I will call it what it is, have twisted them into believing that the ills that they have suffered are the cause of strangers. People like myself, people like all of you. The mayor of Cali's Rest refused to let me do anything about it. I believe that they have something connecting him to something that he didn't want to be made public. Even now, I'm not sure how he's going to respond to this and what he's going to ask me to do about it, but I want you to know that I'm fully in your court and I will do my best to make sure that it is clear that these extremists were the ones responsible and that you were trying to assist the Dean, who is a citizen of this town and should be protected. We didn't think this would happen. We thought a conversation at least. Yeah, these, these people are angry, Nova. They are frustrated, and any kind of standing up to them was likely to involve fisticuffs. And to be fair, the fact that you were in a temple to Hesper was probably not very helpful. He is not well liked amongst the lowlands as a god, and these people were likely looking for an excuse to attack the temple itself. They probably thought that you were just some upstarts, not the skilled folk that you are. We just wanted to read some books. Well, I'm afraid that I don't think many people are going to be doing any reading in Callie's Rest for a while. What a shame. Awful. Yes. And they laid down their lives. <laughs> I was not being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure of their teachings exactly, but I know that there is a strong belief in dying for the cause. Something about ash and rebirth. From the flames, ash purges all. I don't know much. And she leans in. I don't speak this out loud because 
They have eyes and ears in many places here in Savona. They call themselves the Ashbringers. And they believe that since the Sundering, all of these problems are the sins caused by worship of these gods that abandon them. They think that they take the, the beliefs of Palador, the, certain teachings of agriculture, how that sometimes a field must be destroyed, a forest can be burnt down so that new life can grow. And they take that to an extreme. It's concerning for me as an Asimar. The Celestials despise what's going on, but I am also bound by my duty of law, and the mayor would not let me act. Thank you for what you've done. I mean, is there anything we can do to... for the mayor? I don't know. I don't know what the Abbey has, what power the Abbey has or hold over him, but it has something. The Abbotess is not the leader of this group, I know that much. She's just a, a senior member, but she's taken over Callie's rest pretty sincerely. The Abbey's locked up tight. I've already had some of the Harvest Guard check it out. They've locked the gates, and it's pretty much a fortress in its own right. Well, they've got quite a few of the other temple leaders. Temple of Kalara and Temple of Siaska, both of them went. What do you intend to do? I will need to negotiate with her, see why she's holding them. It depends. If she uses them as hostages, then it will become tricky. If she makes claims that they are there willingly, it's going to be difficult for me to prove otherwise. And depending on what the mayor says, he may may tell me to drop the whole matter. I'll know more in the morning. Well, we'll do what we can to help. For now, you should rest. You've obviously taken on a very difficult fight, and I'm sure that you will need some rest. And at the end of the day, uh, it depends on what actions I'm allowed to take. I may need to hire you privately to deal with this matter for me. And she kind of says that, again, leaning in quite conspiratorially, if you're willing, of course. Otherwise, I would suggest that perhaps making your way out of Callie's rest sooner rather than later. I'm not sure how things will fare here. <clears throat> in, other, in any other regard, based on the witness statements by Dean Simmons and some of the locals who heard uh, the explosion of the fireball and things like that, I'm more than willing on my investigator's uh, mantle to let you go and thank you for your service in defending one of my citizens. And she says that much more out loud for everyone else to yeah. hear. Kind of thing. Thank you. I mean... <laughs> All the odds are stacked up against us right now. It seems like we're just leaving chaos in our wake. But I appreciate that you're looking at it thoroughly. Unfortunately, it just seems to be a matter of bad timing, I think. This, this has been brewing in Cowley's Rest for a while. Perhaps if you'd arrived days before, this wouldn't have happened. Perhaps if you arrived days later, this would have been done. Who knows? I might, or perhaps the Abbotess might have taken over the whole city. Well. I feel, feel like the Temple of Hesper would still be there, if we weren't there. Dean puts his hand on your shoulder. He's like, don't fret so much, my young friend. It is sad to lose those books, of course, but the building stands, I stand, and we can rebuild. True. Sure. There are more books to be purchased. Nothing in there was rare or can't be replaced. Hmm. I'm so sorry, though, about those books. Yes, I, you have a terribly strange obsession with them. You need to... A book is just a book. It's the knowledge inside that matters. But I can only access that knowledge by reading them. Um, there was nothing in there that I think would have really been of interest to you, my dear. Well, I managed to save these. I just sadly like, offer looks, up. <laughs> he looks very, very touched. I'm sorry, I couldn't get more. He takes them and is just like... Thank you. We'll have these as a good reminder not to let this zealotry get out of hand next time. I'll certainly be doing what I can. Not as a librarian without a library can, I suppose. Oh, anyway, Lord. <laughs> <clears throat> I still have something perhaps I can teach this one. Uh, if you can, I mean... <laughs> of course, I've been a priest of Hesper for 30 years, my boy. I don't need books to teach you. No, it's just, yeah, okay. Well, when you have the time and the rest. <laughs> That's and the same to you as well. Could I donate some money to you so you can at least start buying new books? <laughs> he holds a hand. Of course, if you wish, but sleep. Rest now. If you still decide, come back and then offer it then. Go. Go. He gestures. 
Yes, I suppose we've got to get ready for Spell Clash. <laughs> um, there is a moment where Malika like looks at you, really, <laughs> and then just holds her hand up and is like, "I'll leave you to your business." I suppose you do, we do look awesome. Thank you, Steve. Uh, sorry about this, folks. We're just waiting for Wirecast to come back. We'll continue for the podcast. Mm -hmm. You can continue listening to us at least. I suppose we do seem pretty formidable now that we've uh, dispatched. I mean, we keep, keep dispatching. People? Everywhere we go, we're dispatching. Well, once again, we're drawing people. attention to ourselves. We need to be careful. I mean, it's true. Big gout of fire is quite a big beacon. Yeah. And it all points to us. And I've got night frost. Just saying. To Eterna, a big pillar of fire, a whole lot of bad guys. I didn't really want to kill, you know, um, worshippers of a god. It's not really in my. I did. Mind. They were racist as hell. They did attack us. They were going to leave us in the tower to burn, yeah. probably. Like, I got no problem yeah. killing those fuckers. I guess they were a bit more soldiery than worshipy. Yeah. They might even come after us at some point. They probably Oh, will. good. As vengeance. Foreigners killing the worshippers of the Ashbringers. <laughs> yeah, it's not really doing any favours in the whole, like, foreigners are bad thing, is it? Well, no. no. But I don't know if they Yeah, what else do we do? Like no. a spell clash? Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, in regards to people looking bad on wild elves or whatever. I think they'll have some favour. We... Well, I mean... You actually, the temple. Did we? Well. It was on fire because we were there. Those five people died because we were there. They are one priest down. Sure, we saved his life, but... No one else knows what their plan is. We don't know what their plan is. If they've got two priests already. True. And if it's difficult to put a light spin on it, but <laughs> No. And if five foreigners attack the Temple of Palador and rescue some priests, I think That's gonna look even better. Yeah. <laughs> is this um... really our problem? I'm not saying that we don't help people, but are we causing more problems and solutions? We're killing people. People have died because we've... I know, Steve, it's cool. Don't, don't feel you have to tell us. I well, feel, what was I saying? <laughs> I lost it. The te the, like she said, the, um, the problem's been brewing in, in Kelly's Rest for a long time. This might just be something that's too big for us to deal with. That was just five of them. There's however many in that fortress. Ayla does turn and says like, well, yeah, They've got one of my people up in the Abbey as well. That's what I found out from Zephyr. They've taken one of my people, the, the one that knows about my clan, the Lady of the Land. Yeah. If they've got her, I, or them, and they've got others, I'd, like to, I'd I like to help. I think right now, though, we need to wait for Malika and, and I guess her blessing or intel, or she's going to find out more on what's going on and then come back to us. So I think... I guess. We should wait, because we're in no state to go there now. No, I know. I'm not saying we go there now. But if we just wait and get more information on what's going on... Yeah, then I can we wait. can decide from there. I've had to wait. There's a ghoul that has one of my books. A ghoul? The ghost. Oh. The yeah. princess. Yeah. She has one of my books. Remember, kind of <laughs> possess me. Uh... I say we wait for orders. Yeah. Right. If we're required as assistance, we make our decision then. Yeah. I kind of need to sit and think and process all of this. On a positive spin, we can't possibly be hurt if we have that spell clash uh, protection shield put on us. <gasps> so at least while we're doing spell clash, we're fine. That's very true. What if there's a way we could take it out of spell clash? We'll take a spell clash shield outside of a spell clash arena. I mean, maybe? It seemed... It did it seem like it was being powered by like the arena itself? Also, it probably doesn't really do anything to stop you getting stabbed in the back in an alleyway. Mm. Yeah, True. it was very specifically like magic that it was uh, brunting. Uh, uh, well, I say we stay close. Sorry to be a downer. Until we. Well, uh, <laughs> guess we'll sleep then. We've got a better shield in Century than, That's a, than a shield. Clash shield anyway. So correct. 
That's very kind of you to say, Quill. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's huge. It's a massive shield. It's bigger than me. It's very big. Yes. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Could I hide behind it? <laughs> you can all hide behind it. Because <laughs> I think I will be as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to lay low. So let's go to the really fancy place up north, which we didn't go to last time. Yeah. Wait, but we've got rooms. The barrel and whatnot, they know we're there, right? So we should, we should probably go to the luxurious. Ayla Light raises a hand. Okay, I n can't believe I'm going to say this, but Lucius has something of a point. What? Valor and Arvel are at the other tavern, and they might not know that necessarily. If they come after us where we're sleeping, yeah. I kind of don't want Valor and Arvel there to mm. get into trouble. Yeah, We should send word to them or something. Yeah, though, so we they... can do that. Maybe ask the Dean, the old man, or Malika or something. But as much as I don't want Lucius to be comfortable, it'd be kind of nice not to worry about Valor and Arvel. Well, we have the funds for it. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Plus we need to be on top form for... <laughs> I swear to God, if you see spell Spell Clash, clash. one more time. <laughs> spell Clash. No, I, I can't even. Nova wouldn't slap you. She'd just stick out her tongue. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, so you want to go to North Street and you're going to head to the tavern there. Yeah, I think we're nearby. I don't think I have my notes for what that tavern is called, so we'll come up with something. Uh, I had a um, down the somewhere. fancy yeah, race. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just can't remember because I've got my different notes. I don't have those with me. Because I didn't actually write it in my Cali's rest notes. So we stayed in Lies the smile? barrel and over... No, the, that was the Furbolg's singer. Yeah, the li well, the Lies Smile is in North Street. Um, it's not a tavern, though. It is a theatre. Of the mind. Yes. Um, it doesn't matter. It is a tavern that is very fancy. Mm. <laughs> uh, the rooms there, I believe, would cost uh, four gold a night each because it's more expensive. Um, Jeez. Are we gonna double up or whatever? Group fund it? What? Yeah. Math. I mean, I One, can One, two, three, four, five. Why don't we do three rooms? Three rooms. Give Lucius one on his own. Four, Me and you four, share. Eight, nine, These two share. Twelve. I, I count out 12 gold from the okay. group fund. I have no idea what that says. So I've written down the name of it and I'm pretty sure I wrote down Dick Dream. <laughs> I mean, it was something dream. I don't think it was dick dream there. <laughs> dream daddy. It doesn't matter because you rest there. You take a long rest. You're long level. rest! So anybody who has, so you lose one level of exhaustion. So if you had two, it Which goes down to one. I think anyone did. If you have one, it goes to Apparently zero. it says it requires food and drink. Well, I imagine yeah, we eat. Yeah, that's, that's what a stay at a tavern involves. Yeah, no, I, just, I didn't realise I thought it was just a long rest on its own. No, it's, it's like spending a lot of time, like, you know, gaining your energy back, sleeping, yeah. you know, taking some time. What a lovely um, sleep in dick dream. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta ruin things? <gasps> Bye. Why you gotta be that? Dude? <clears throat> the night hmm? passes, and actually, when you wake up, there's been no sign of rain. When you came out, there was no rain when you went mm -hmm. into the Temple of Hesper, and it's dried overnight Storm somewhat. Storm has passed. Storm has indeed Just passed. Just when we need oh, it. Good. It is still cold. Um, I mean, the inside still would have burnt. <laughs> Maybe feet uh, felt better. <laughs> but the, the storm itself has passed. It is still a drab, dreary day. Grey skies, and there is a solemnness to the town. People seem quiet as they travel past. And whilst they don't necessarily give you suspicious looks, there is looks of unease amongst everybody. Yeah. This always happens. Mm. Come well, to it a town. You meet the field warden. I mean, no offence, but it's always happened since I've met up with you lot. I was trapped. Maybe we should call ourselves the outcasts. The losers. Um, yeah. I mean, we I feel like losers. Losers. Troublemakers. Yeah. Troublemakers. We make a lot of trouble. Foreigners. I mean, we eventually get to this point where we come outside, the sky is dark, and everyone's miserable. I really wish we didn't cause so much trouble. My mum would be so mad at me. Hey, they caused the trouble. Yeah. We merely tried to stop bad things happening. We actually tried to not cause any trouble. We yeah. signed up to Spell Clash. That's true. Yeah. We, I That's didn't... probably the most... That like, poor old man. Like, we had, someone had to stand up for him, and we yeah. did. You're right, Lucius. And like I said to Malika yesterday, 
I didn't think that they would just suddenly start a burning. <laughs> I mean, I don't think any of us did. No. Um, I didn't think I expect him. I didn't expect him to set himself on fire, to be honest. Yeah, um, I just feel sorry was, for all those books. Well, I know the lesson. dean said not to worry, but ugh. I'm sure the dean has most of those books memorized in his brain. Yeah. True. So let's keep him safe. Yeah. If something happened to him, then all those books in his brain would would would, would, would have gone. All the noise. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't want to think about that. Thank you. I'm just, uh, the, <laughs> 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 the brain books. Are you trying to make us feel better or worse, Birdie? Yeah, He's got brain books. I feel a bit more anxious now, thank you. You can't burn brain books. So I'm guessing this is a conversation you have over breakfast yeah. in this tavern or whatever. Um, as, as you're finishing <laughs> up, tavern. as you're finishing up, you begin to hear the kind of like the ringing of a bell and the kind of like, hey, you, town crier kind of like voice, like, ding, 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 like, hey, you, town crier. Attention! <laughs> It's like, yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, but it'd be Savonian accents. I'd be like, attention, attention, everybody, attention, everybody, y'all. Last night, there was, and you kind of hear this kind of reverberating around. Last night, a group of extremists attacked the Temple of Hesper. The Fl Abbey of Flame has announced that these were individuals acting on their own, believing themselves to be working for the Abbot Hess, who has now assumed... Rulership, uh, not rule. Um, leadership. Leadership, thank you. Uh, leadership. Over the, the Church of Parador here in Cali's <laughs> Rest you. after the sad passing of Abbot Varson. What? These individuals yeah. do not represent the faith of Parador that believes that this land is for the people that work it and the people that work hard shall be blessed by his divine light. Please note that it is with a sad passing and the Church of Paladur will all do all it can to support the faith of the Temple of Hesper and help pay for the repairs and the refunds of the building. Ding, 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 ding. And then he seems to move off and you can hear like distant shouts of the same, no, same voice. No, they said yesterday that the abbot was, was sick. They didn't say he was dead. Uh, I mean, they said it with very sinister undertones uh, that he was ill. I think they said he was... So no, they said he stepped yeah. down because he was sick. They didn't say he was dead. They said he's dead. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if the current leader overthrew so that she could start something. And something did start this last night. This is really bad. Oh, I thought he was just ill. No, I thought he was already dead. <laughs> no, that's not what they told us yesterday. Oh, oh I see now. <laughs> I mean, we don't take the word of the people that are willing to set themselves on fire the name of Ashbringer, right? They're bad people. <laughs> Doors open, dramatically, and you see Arvel kind of stood there. He's like, walks over calmly, sits down. We can explain. When the fuck oh. were you gonna tell me what happened last night? I have to hear from some bookish old man. Y'all almost died. Uh, yeah, we, we were caught in a kerfuffle. Hmm. Gather that, Lucius. We didn't want Valor. Uh, we don't want the traces of this cult. Luckily, she wasn't very well, so she's not woken up yet. Right. Uh, yeah, no. Yes, yeah. really unwell. Um, throwing up. I just a was a little annoyed that I had to find out from some bickering old man after I heard the news. I heard that the Temple of Hesper burnt down. I knew that y'all wanted to go there, and I thought something might have happened, that's all. What, uh, but, uh, Didn't we send word? We did. He said that, but it, afterwards. What, you didn't think that I had people screaming, the Temple of Hesper's burning down, Temple of Hesper's burning down. We were saving an old man. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. It was all terribly unexpected. It just gave me a fright, that's all. I'm sorry, we didn't, didn't want anything to, to happen to you. Anyway, uh, last night while you were gone, one of them guardians came by. Oh. The little one, Scout. Oh. Uh -huh. He said that uh, Breeze came by and wanted to uh, meet Sentry. Oh, finally. But Saves us looking Scout for said that well, Scout told me that you should go and speak with him. This Breeze is, isn't, isn't very comfortable around non-Guardians. Okay. He wanted to meet you just on you, on your own. But Scout has all the information. Okay. Mm. Is, is that, I mean, it, is it safe? sounds like you need to... Is, is it safe? Is it, uh, that's a good question, but... Are you guys going to be safe? It will be safe. We're worried about you, Sentry, going off on your own with um, some mysterious Guardian. Mm. Is there any way we could... At least be nearby, just in case. Well, maybe the, you, yeah, sure, I think so. 
No, I can talk to Scout, maybe see if we can sort something out. Yes, good idea. But ultimately, you need to talk to him. If he knows how to extend lifespans of Guardians, that's pretty big. It's a bad time as well. Well... Right now, we're waiting on word for things to happen, so... We're not going to get attacked in public. Mm. And I imagine the, the Ashbringer bringers will lie low after yesterday okay um and we have Ayla and Arvo okay but I mean do we want to just send Sentry on our own like what choice do we have we don't know what Breeze is uh, let Sentry speak to Scout and see if we can yeah. arrange I mean I'm sure y'all could go speak to Scout as well it's just That's this true. Breeze fella that don't want you guys again them around. Yeah, let's do that. Well, anyway, y'all still got that spell clash you're doing? Well, it, uh, I didn't want to bring it up. I don't really know if I want to do it anymore. Oh, Nova! Supernova! I'm just not in a fighting mood. Bah. Well, I mean, it sounds like Lucius would still like to do it, so I'm happy to pay. Only if there's no I'm happy to pay. Oh. I said that last time. I'd sponsor. Oh, Daddy will pay you back, don't worry. Well, maybe me and Daddy can have a business arrangement. That sounds perfect. All right. Wear little embroidered things if you love. Them. Where better can we train our fighting so that we can avoid these situations in the future than in an arena that's filled with dangerous spells? That's true. And it's shield. training. Don't make it sound worse than it already sounds in my head. What about shields? Powered by the arena itself. It sounds way safer than what we did last night. Exactly. So the entire place won't set on fire. That's true. So, um, yeah, we'll wrap up today's episode. But before, so I know for next week, plan is you want to go speak to the Guardians. Please. Guardians, yep. Scout. And then you've Scout. got to pay for your license. You still need to get your license. I, I paid for it up front. Paid for it, yeah. You paid for yours paid up front. For the front. Yeah. So yours money. is done. You just need to go and hand it in and actually get your license okay. then, and then get your preliminary match. All set. right then. Yeah. And then you can do. We it. haven't paid yet. You haven't paid yet. But we. And I guess it's now Nova can decide whether she wants to or not. Bang it. I will have a think. And with that. That's the end of today's episode. Nice. Very fire. Oh, what a fiery big, episode. Big episode, big fight. I know that takes a long time, but I thought like there was a, was we had a good fight. bit of lore at the start. Yeah. Yeah. Some good lore. It's a tasty there fight. A, there was a lot of everything in that episode. A bit of everything, yeah. Draw and then um, some more plots and some more, more stuff. Fire more quests. in my notebook. Big old, <laughs> let's call it book burning. <laughs> oh. Fire and ice. Let's not. We'll need to come up with an episode name. Um, yeah. Fire. Fire in the temple. <laughs> Fire in the dead temple. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fire in the library? No, I'm not quite sure. Uh, right. Anyway, Nightjar, thank you so much. Oh, Lovely thank Nightjar. You. Haven't managed to catch up with the rest of last Sunday's session yet, so I'll be joining the BOD squad today. Good, good. Have fun, roll high, and please don't let anyone die. Lose another body. Yeah. Came close. Yeah. Your cuts and bruises. Very, very. Cuts and yeah. bruises, came close. Oh, Ola Renve, thanks for the donation. No message, very kind. Mm. Mir KitKat, uh, new to the stream, I... Uh, think your message, you might have hit enter there by accident. Thank whoops. you. Soy more. Thank you very much for the generous donation. Love the series. Inspired me to start my own campaign with a group of friends within the Witcher setting. Ooh. Friends didn't make it easy with a half elf, dwarf, and godling in our mostly human world. But I'm loving it. Thank you all for the inspiration. Nice. Moi. Thank bit of Witcher. Oh, you can't go to Berlin with that group though. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, Mirnis, thank you very much. Last night I had more fun as a level one wizard. I'm loving having. I'm loving having to think tactfully and plan things out. But not as much as I love my DM, Generic Evil Genius. Aww. Look at that, lovely. Aww. Little High Rollers community game. Love Aww. it. Dragstar. By Bellin, I meant Novigrad. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> Sorry, Witcher boy. Uh, Dragstar, thank you very much for the donation. Hello all, just a quick donation for our special little flower, Rhiannon, making me spit out my coffee today with her tweet. Even the crew <laughs> of the light. It was weird. It's funny. <laughs> Great. Darth Day 41, thank you very much for the generous donation. So Simon says that he is only a librarian and can't help. Well, Casey Ryback was only the chef on the USS Missouri in Under Siege, and he saved the freaking world. <laughs> this guy's holding out on the party at Justin Foyle hat. Thanks very much. Desiree. Damn. It's a conspiracy. Eye. Conspiracy. Uh, Desiree, <laughs> thank you very much. You know Mark is an amazing DM when you get pissed off at a fictional racist and almost punch the screen of your school laptop, because that'll help, right? Great work, Mark. Yeah. Thank you, Des. JK Quinn. I uh, just had to donate to say 10 out of 10 best snowflake <laughs> joke. Also, does the zealot cult have Kool Aid like drink? Maybe. <laughs> I hope you do. Uh, they drink flame juice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't drink the flame juice. <laughs> don't drink the flame juice. Varys, thank you for the donation. A no message. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to rattle through these. Yeah, go for it. Tom's looking at me like, I'm fucking worried about some donations. You son of a 
Huh? Still on the meme, boy! Thank you very much. Question, have any of you heard Hamilton? <laughs> have I heard it? Oh, Are you no. Oh, no, here we go. I, I sang that shit on karaoke and saw it live. Lightning <laughs> Dragon has donated. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Tom. Oh, okay. Uh, please read Nova's Air Ganassi traits. Uh, there was a quarrel among chat of whether or not Nova would have needed to make constant saving throws. I already know, I already know Mark's smoke. answer to this. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I guess if you had held your breath, if you said, like, yeah, I'm just going to stop breathing, I'd be like, okay. But what about, like, flame and stuff? The like, fire, you still would have taken damage from the fire, but I don't think you would have taken the exhaustion. But it, it's not just from smoke, though. It'd be, like, you know, fucking hot and probably beams Yes, that's on true. Me. I probably would have given you advantage on the saving throw. Okay. Mm. But it didn't. But, you it didn't remind me. Yeah. Like, I, I can't remember this stuff. Well, I didn't, I didn't think about it. I didn't yeah. even think about that's it. That's the thing. It's like, yeah. Just I didn't even think. think about it. Now we know. Now we know. Uh, Tangling. Uh, well, that went better than the last cam combat I wrote. <laughs> than the last combat oh, I ran. Well, well, that went better than the last combat I ran. <laughs> When at least no one does. Someone else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that went better than the last <laughs> combat I ran went. At least no one died. It's just a missing comma. That on the really bright side, fucked me up that <laughs> missing comma. On the bright side, on of my players now knows not to try one on one versus an ogre as a level two source oh, for five max HP. First time I had to use the rules for instant death. Wow. wow. I've never, I've never used them. I came close once. Um, Metamanu, thank you very much for the donation. Well, that was an intense, what a fight. I can't wait for Spell Clash, though, if it ever happens. It will. Uh, Ace of Thorns, providing these guys want to do it anyway. Uh, Ace of Thorns, here, have sweetie money, and remember to share with Katie. We will, thank you very much. Not Alex. <laughs> thank you very I much. Like this. The titles <laughs> of the books so Nova saved. Suvonan Tax Laws, Volume 7, 8, and 9, Advanced Calligraphy and 15 Easy Lessons, <laughs> Identification for Beginners. Yeah. Nice. nice. Canon. Uh, thanks very much. <laughs> Lovely. Just gotta wait for Steve to catch up. Lovely job, Blaze. Azul Aura, we had three Dannys this week, and of the 72 people who took 72? part... 72? Wow. 19 wow. people wow. bet correctly. Wow. Winners were announced in chat since I couldn't fit the names here. Mark, do you have any advice for DMs creating a big, detailed homebrew world for the first time? Yes. Don't start off doing what I've done. Start small. If you're creating your homebrew world, start small with like a little town or a little local area and then build out. Yeah. Don't try and build the whole thing at once because you can't do it. I'm struggling and I've been and doing plus, this for years. You'll get frustrated when your players don't see it all. Yes. Yep. So you've got to have you've got to have a group you trust really well so that you can slowly meet things out. Yes. I feel like I'm phasing out all of the daddies. I can't even pimp. I can't. Pimp. I, I never hear them anymore. I just I just don't hear it. It's like. <laughs> 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 um, then finally, the game guy. Thank you for the donation. Hi, rollers. Sad that I missed your roleplay one shot yesterday, Mark. We'll have to catch that on VOD. But you know what's crazy? I'm also going to be playing in the Wild Star on game in Sean very soon. What are the odds? Am I right? Quite fun. Great. Not, not that crazy, because that lends itself very well to those games. Yeah. You guys should be friends. <laughs> hey. You should be best friends. Uh, thanks very much, everybody who came by and watched thanks. that little stream. Big thank you, D&D Beyond, for sponsoring yeah. it. Don't forget, I'm on the D&D Beyond Twitch tomorrow at 8 p.m. Very nice. Time. He is, uh, didn't you? We're all streaming. You can watch Rihanna streams now. Hello. I'm stream sometimes. I stream. Kim might one day stream again. Who knows? February. Chris Trott does it all the time with Hat Films. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you like the wrestling video. I know Steve's uh, done a lot of work on that. Tom Twitter's done a lot of work channel, on that. Yeah. Hope you enjoy that. Tonight. Me and we'll Mark see you. In that. There you go. We'll see you soon. Take care. See you next week. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.